Oh, oh, turn the TV down. Don't do it. I'm about to turn these phone lines on. <laughs> Access code followed by the pound or hash sign. Hold on, woman. <laughs> Please re enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. Uh, da, 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 da. Please re-enter your access code. Hold on, woman. I don't know it by heart. I have to uh, type it in. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait mm -hmm. a minute. Dang, I'm trying to play Twinkie. Okay, there's the right screen. Make sure the volume on. Good evening. Welcome to Tanya's Prime Time TV. I'm here with our girl Samantha for another Sisters from Another Mister review. Did I say that right? Yes. Another Sisters <laughs> from Another Mister. <laughs> Good evening. Review. <laughs> oh Lord, let me uh hold on a second, y'all. I'm gonna get the uh, phone lines. Um, get the phone lines on so I have two because we're gonna be taking calls tonight, y'all. Y'all see the title of the uh video now? Y'all see the title of the video? Let me uh, I'm gonna post the phone number in the chat. Okay, phone number. Oh, I can't type. Hold up. Phone number. Okay, the phone number is 605-475-4074. Access code is 753-359. Is that right? 605-475-4074. Access code 753-359. Yep. Okay, so let me go ahead and call in. Hold well, how's everybody doing this evening? Welcome. This service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. Please Free enter your access code followed by the pound com. or hash sign. Welcome. <laughs> we got a few people in the chat right now. 359. Let me put in my PIN number. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please enter your PIN followed by the pound or hash. Okay. If you do not... Thank you. There is one host in this conference. All right. Okie dokie, y'all. I got the phone please set up. PIN followed by the pound or hash. Let me, uh, if you do not know your pin, please enter pound or hash. <laughs> your input is invalid. Uh oh, you hold on. Zero, one. Please enter your pin followed by the pound. Well, at least the speaker is charged up. How's everybody <laughs> doing? Please check in. Let us know who's watching. <clears throat> Let us know who where you where you um watching from. Represent your state. Represent wherever you come from. I'm sorry, I'm up here getting the phone together, y'all. I'm getting the phone together. Okay, I had did it wrong. Okay, here we go. 
But yeah, represent your state. Represent where you calling from. We in the Midwest in the Old Town, Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get the phone line set up. But what y'all think about this? You, we okay. We gonna be speaking on two topics tonight. Um, the first one is Jussie Smollett. He is a really, really hot topic right now, and everybody's been discussing him. So um, we definitely want to discuss him and get your opinion or, you know, what you think is really going on with this Jesse situation. I don't know why my... Uh, oh, let me hook up to your... Do I got the internet? Oh, I, don't need, I don't need the internet for this. For some reason, I don't want to... It just keeps saying, calling, calling, calling. Hmm. We getting it together, y'all. Okay, here we go. Services provided by freeconferencecall.com. Phones tripping and everything. You know the devil is a lie. <laughs> okay. Access code or phone number you have dialed is incorrect. Three, seven, five, three, three, five, nine, pound. Okay, y'all. Hey, Keontae. Hold on, hold on, honey, hold on. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please enter your pin followed by the pound or hat. Hold on, baby. I'm, st I'm still logging in. I'm almost through. <laughs> Thank you. There is one host in this conference. Okay. Okay, try to call in again. 605-475-4074, access code 753359, that should be it. I'm looking on the, um, 753359. Yeah, try to call in again. Let me see if it shows any calls on here. Entered access code 753359. Okay, it still shows I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, where controls. I keep getting all these links popping up. Six zero five four seven five four zero seven four. That's the phone number, and the pin is seven five three three five. What well, access code is seven five three three five nine. Entered access code seven five three three five nine. Did you try it again? Try to call it in from your phone. See what it say. That that's the number. Hold on. Let me make sure. Six zero And then enter oh, seven five three. Me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Three five nine. See? It worked. Keontae, try it again because it worked for Samantha. Hold on. Hello? Say something. That's me, Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it worked. Okay, you can hang up. Okay, Keontae, if you want to call in, try calling in because it just works. Samantha called it in. The phone number is right and the access code is right. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be discussing two topics tonight. Um, Hello? Hey, Miss Keontae. 
Hey, baby. Hold on. Let me uh make sure I got the speaker up here. Hey, baby cakes. Hey, baby cakes. <laughs> you hear Samantha? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's get into it, Keonti. Let me put you on uh let me put you on the speaker, the big speaker. Okay, go ahead. You already know. <laughs> I'm going to say about this in here. Okay, let me have it. What you what's what do you really think is going on with Jesse? Well, you know, I've been saying from day one that this is a hoax. Because mm -hmm. it did not make sense at all. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm and you know you remember i made that post on my page and people was like jumping down my throat yeah why would he do that he don't need to do that he's a respectable actor okay that may all be true mm -hmm. but look at the facts you gonna leave your house on one of the coldest nights in chicago history not just this year in their history right and you walking to, I mean, yeah, it may have been a block or so, but come on, who's really walking in 20 below weather? And you get there, and the only time in all of these, all these places got cameras. Mm -hmm. The only time they have you on camera is when you in Subway. Yeah, I'm right. like, really? And then how do you, my, I, I just got a lot of questions, like, how do these individuals know when you will be leaving and which route you will be taking? Mm -hmm. And yeah, you mean to tell me you're going to be standing outside? They, they just standing outside waiting. Just standing there. <laughs> and bleach. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> I was so like, did he get burned or what? What happened? Yeah, like, did his eyes get Like, there was, like, okay, somebody said they seen, like, one little scratch on him. I mean, you were yeah, literally yeah, a little jumped. little scratch under his cheek. Right. I mean, like, under his eye. And then, he, at first, he was talking about he had broken ribs, but I guess I uh, somebody had, I'm sorry, I was cleaning this my ear, girl. You know I so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, they did, I mean, they said after, I guess they did the uh, whole, you know, uh, medical check, he didn't have no broken ribs. See? <laughs> That's why I, I was like, like, oh, that's why. When I saw his pictures afterwards, I was looking for some kind of battle wounds. Like, especially if you got burned by bleach that's in right. your yeah. face. Like, your skin might not be messed yeah. up, but your eyes, your... I don't know. But wait, here's the funny part. So you got jumped by two dudes. Right. And all you got is a scratch. Right, two dudes. Well, they did, what was this, a 50 fight? Girl, I, girl, I don't know because when he was talking to Robert, did you watch that interview? No. When he I was on Good it. Morning America? And he was telling, he said, yeah, he was giving one of them. He punched them in his face and they was going at it. Then he said, some guy from. He said, you know, from hit him from the back or something. And he was like, he don't know if it lasted 30 seconds or three minutes. That it just all happened so fast. And then he said they just ran off. Yeah. And he looked down and a noose was around his neck. But Keontae, where's the noose? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, well, I, mean, I want to know. Okay, so all of that happens. None of this is caught on video. Um, you go back home. You talking to your manager on the phone for 40 minutes, and then you decide to call the police? Yes. Right. I would have called the, and then the police, police right then. show up, your dumb ass sitting there with the news still on? I would have. <laughs> I, <would've. laughs> I still want to see this news right now. I want to see the news. They would have showed that. That would have been, because that's evidence. I mean, at least show us something. Like, I want to see the news. Like, was it well tied? What kind of rope did they use? Was it a extension cord? Was it a, I mean, I want to see, well, I, I want to see the news. Like, yeah. Was it one of their ties? His tie? These people was just outside in the cold, just chilling. I mean. With bleach and a rope. They just chilling. Right. <laughs> like, I, 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 just chilling. And people's like, did they have it in a cup? 
that they had. And then they were talking about how cold it was. Like, the liquid would have been like, okay. You saw them demonstrate on the degrees, news. it freezes. So, you right. mean at 20 below, they, they, what, did they mm-hmm. heat it up before they left the house? What, I mean, <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not understanding. Help me. Hey, can I say? <laughs> make it make sense. He did. You know they could have had it. You could they could have had it somewhat warm. You know how some people be carrying around some bags or urine to take for a drug test and they put it somewhere warm so it can stay <laughs> stay <Yeah>. body tip. <laughs> but let not feel warm that night. <laughs> At all. Not, whole, not sure. Wait a minute. So they don't win in uh remember at first he was saying it was white dudes. Right. And come to find out they two uh black folks mm. they don't went and raided these dudes' houses. And a so like, yeah, we found bleach. For well, real, you come to my house, you're gonna find bleach too. Exactly. <laughs> you gonna find <laughs> all you gonna have to find all kind of scents. Different, <laughs> different scents and everything at my house too. Oh, From summer breeze <laughs> to fresh winter to. <laughs> but wait a minute! Here go the here go the kicker though. Uh, apparently, one of the dudes was an extra on uh Empire That's what before. Heard. That's what I heard. I didn't no. know. Oh, but was it both oh, of them? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> was it both of them, or was it just one of them? I couldn't remember if it was both think, of them or one of them. I think they just said one of them. Okay, because I I got the um the thumbnail the picture for this uh video. I got him with the two Nigerians, uh, next to him because I thought they said both of them was on the show, but it could have been one. But the, the the story is so clouded now. It's like, mm-hmm. where what's truth well, and what's can... lie, or is it all lie? The truth is, he's a whole ass lie. That's, that's true. what I said. I, that's, yeah. I, I agree. I and agree. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you my theory on what had happened. Please tell me your what, theory. What, what, what's going on on the situation? Please tell me. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Ma? I'm sorry. I don't know you. I'm Tianti. Oh, I got issues. I'm sorry. This but, is Samantha. Okay. I thought nice y'all might you have. I thought y'all might have met before one of our parties. I think so. I think y'all. Oh, okay. have. I usually yeah. don't stay, but yeah, she usually but... dips in and dips out when we have our grown folks parties. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you got to stay to the end, girl. You got to stay to the end. I know, girl. <laughs> turn up, turn up is real. But anyway, back to Jussie. <laughs> Right, right, because you know how we did. Right. But anyway, um, I truly, truly believe that he was out there trying to meet somebody. Mm-hmm. Or if he, if it wasn't him out there meeting somebody, I, I think he met somebody online, mm-hmm. and it did not go the way he thought it was going to go. As planned. Mm-hmm. That's exactly, uh-huh. yes, and yes. I, I don't know if I... I don't know if they was having a rough sex or Ooh. if, Ooh. you know, the dude just got mad and beat him up. I don't know about up. rough sex. I don't know nothing about... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so, she said, I don't know no... Hey. I, I, I agree. Know with, I know. agree. But, but that's what a lot of people feel. That's what Samantha think, too. But I think that... And then, you know, to save face, because, you know, this dude could have exposed him anyway mm-hmm. about, you know, meeting him online or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think the same thing, he came up with this stupid-ass story. And because he put it out in the public, now, you know, everybody's questioning because none of it makes sense. It don't mm-hmm. make sense. But, but see, my thing is, okay, now that has crossed my mind, and I heard other people mention it too. But if that's the case, and you were just like some people say he was just meeting some trade, um, why make up this whole? St- even if it w- didn't go as planned, and maybe even if you know it might have been rough allegedly, mm-hmm. you know, why make up this big old lie that you were jumped? Because for one, you was out there by yourself or with whoever, you know, to meet whoever, do whatever. But why not just go home and chop it up to you was uh uh not too smart, shouldn't be meeting nobody at three o'clock in the morning. Should you got a man, you got a whole man at home. So I mean, why make up this story? 
I mean, I mean if he... you really think about it and break it down, though, where do they have a video of him walking? Yeah. Yeah. If he yeah. left at 2 o'clock in the morning to go to this subway, he probably drove. Right, because they had those... Like... They had the men on film. I mean, on camera. Yeah, they got the dudes on camera. Yeah. And I'm saying he might have drove past them and just seen them uh, outside walking. Yeah, they were some random dudes. Like he's saying, yeah. he probably was. And then, and then it go with And he then playing. he went and made up some shit at home. I just, I don't believe none of it. Or what if, allegedly, what if he met somebody and then somebody saw him and they started taking pictures or something? That could be too. And then he tried to come up with a story like he was attacked. I mean, exactly. I, 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 I'm just, we just trying to come up with, we need answers, Jesse. <laughs> right. The truth. I'm thinking with the him, truth. Though. At this point in time, he needs to just come clean. You on GMA crying and snotting with Robin, <laughs> and, it, and you might want to look at some, look on YouTube, find some videos of the GMA interview, because he did not act like a man that was, or anybody who was attacked. I would have been on that Robin. <laughs> yeah, but they hit me in my eye. They, he was up there. I don't know how long it lasted. It could have been 30 seconds. It could have been. There was no fight. I mean, he was like, that he was, was a small disagreement. He was like, and I don't understand why people don't believe me because it's too many holes in your story. Like, for one, I the bleach. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? I don't believe the bleach. Okay, now, maybe a week or so before this, because, you know, it's been cold as, you know what, here, where we mm-hmm. at. And they had shown an example of how quickly things freezes on the morning show, and they threw some water or some liquid up in the air, and it just froze. Yeah, it, um, it just froze. It and then when they poured it out on the, like, a rail or something, it just piled up into ice. It just became a big old tall ice cube. It's and like, world. and it's cold in the shy too. Like, just hey, yeah. when it's cold here in Omaha, it's cold in the shy. Lake, right, right. They cut. They it's real cold. When you got all them buildings mm-hmm. that you know that wind whipping through them buildings. Just right. imagine, like when we go downtown, how windy it is downtown. Exactly. So right. it's even worse in Chicago because they have way more buildings mm-hmm. than we do, and Man, they have that Chicago lake effect times. where the water, mm-hmm. you know. It's always colder by water anyway. Right. You sure right about that, especially in Chicago. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. Like, if this man was outside this time in the morning, period, in the winter, I don't care if it wasn't the coldest day in history, still, if somebody threw something on him, it would have froze to him something. He would have He would have had to have something. Where the clothes at? Where something at that proves that mm-hmm. something was thrown you know, poor, right. throw, yeah, whatever. I want to see the clothes. Because you know what? Think about it. If they throw bleach on you, your clothes. They're going to be bleached. Yeah, so that was thinking, like, where, where does, uh, did he go to the hospital? Where did the evidence, because yeah, I'm he sure. Yeah, but that was 40 minutes he later. Been, he could have been, been at home. He could have been in the hospital bed all puffed up and greasy looking. I was like, if he don't sit down somewhere. Did say greasy looking? <laughs> Well, well and but but he <laughs> like could have went home. He could have went home and threw some bleach on his clothes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just a hey, just thinking out Even loud. If he here. did do that, did he? They not showing us the stuff that people want to see. People want to see the clothes, the, the, the news. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Sam. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm saying. I want to see this stuff. Yeah. This man. It's too, I mean, you know, this was a situation where I believe money would have talked. He wouldn't even have to, you know, he was up to something on his end, too. He could have called somebody. Well, and, allegedly, the story is he was getting ready to be written off for Empire. And then that's, that's not the, true because Fox then made a statement about that. They like, why the hell would we write him off when he's still a huge factor in the TV show, they said, we're not writing him off. Mm. And so, then I'm like, okay, now I'm really confused. 
I'm really confused. And then, like everybody was saying, why didn't he call uh, his assistant? Like, them people, them stars, they have assistants that'll do everything from darn near up to wiping their butt. I mean, they do everything. Right, they got yes men, a bunch of yes men. A yes men. man. I mean, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, no. and you can't find nobody to y'all stars. Y'all should. Y'all probably got people who personally cater to y'all whenever you want. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, y'all been filming from this certain location all these years. They probably have certain restaurants, you know, that enjoy their business. Uh, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, time out. Now, if you're that hungry at 2 o'clock in the morning, why do you call Uber Eats? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Yes. Yes. It's too much. The reason for him, he could have used anything besides he was hungry. And you walked. It's cold. Oh, yes. Man, I would have made me a bologna sandwich. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and cold as shit. And you walked to Look, get some subway. Get, he didn't get the foot long he wanted, so he went and got another foot long. Ain't no foot long. <laughs> ain't no foot long. And no matter how long, it's worth a walk at three o'clock in the morning in the freezing cold. In Chicago, no foot long. And he was still, he was still in a hotel room. Right? If you get what I mean. <laughs> oh, I get what you mean, honey. Edible or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. You know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. He just. Uh, like I said, and I've been saying it from the beginning. He a whole ass liar. I believe that too. I think he's lying, and I'm just gonna say that I believe that. Yes, he was outside the time of the morning, of course. But like everybody said, he could have. He could have done anything, called any kind of service or anywhere to get something brought to him, he could have probably called, you know, he probably could have went in the hotel or wherever he was staying. They would have, you know, it's kitchens and stuff there too. Mm-hmm. In the See, and that, that was he, something I was confused on too because for the longest they were saying he was in a hotel and then they, uh, they changed it to a uh, it's his apartment. Oh, right. Yeah, and, that, and that's another story. Like, at first, people were saying it was a hotel. Everybody was saying it was a hotel, um, that he wanted something to eat from somewhere, but they were closed. So then he decided to walk over to uh, Subway to get whatever. If in a hotel, it don't matter whether they, you in a five-star hotel. They going to find, they going to cater to you. Mm-hmm. And you a celebrity. They exactly. They going to find some food somewhere. Shoot. For what you. happened to room service? Thank you. Wow. Because if he, I mean, him being who he, the position that he is, he is in in life, you know, a, he's a celebrity. They would have opened the kitchen. They would have called a chef at the house and had a chef come in (laughs) to cook him something. And you think the chef wouldn't have came? Because he's looking up like his review going to come up here soon. Something. I don't know. And some people might think that's far-fetched. We're not movie stars. I hear the stories. We read books and see real-life biopics of of stuff. These people really have people catering to them like 25-8. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they get oh, paid nicely. Right. And they get paid nicely and tipped nicely. And, you know, shoot, they... I, um, I mean, from hairdressers to stylists to makeup artists, chefs, I mean, gym, gym uh, you know, trainers, trainers yeah. everything. And I always heard that, like, some of them have people that I go with them. I think making up this lie. And, I, you know... I, you, it's too many people that with common sense is like, um, right. <laughs> this is not adding up. Right. Two and two is equal and five right about now, and right. I'm killing it. And the thing is, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna give him a little, I don't know, a benefit of the doubt and say something, maybe something bad did happen, but. If something really bad happened to you, why didn't you call the cops right there? I mean, I would have been afraid that they was going to come back. 
Right. You know, that I wouldn't make it home. Maybe they went to get a they car or they gun or went to, you know what I'm saying, get some more people. I would have been like, 911, while I'm running home mm-hmm. on the phone, giving descriptions and everything, why you call your manager first, what? 40 minutes later called, I, it don't make sense. You know what? That's, now that's what I want to know. I mean, because 911 would have been the first people I called. Then I would have called my manager. Right. right. I'm thinking if they threw bleach on him, how did he get home? Then it, it, and they supposed to throw it in his face. Yeah, because bleach <laughs> doesn't. It, I mean, I'd be burning if it didn't freeze. Then it would have had. It, he should have got on him. So mm-hmm. obviously it didn't freeze like we thinking it should have. So even if crystals or someone would have get in your eyes, like what were you cleaning? And you wash your hands. You might miss a spot or something. Right. Like, you touch something. You you feel that little burn. And you done washed your hands. So I hope wow. you was able to make it home. And But see, my thing is, if somebody threw bleach in your eyes, let's say it did not freeze before it got to your eye, and it really got in your eye. I'm not a rocket scientist, right? but won't that make you at least temporarily blind? Like, at least for a, mo- like a moment? Like, yeah, because you got to get your focus back. I Even mean, if when people throw a drink in people's face. Okay, let me tell y'all something. I permed my hair one time when I was, uh, this was a long time ago. I was probably 21, and I, I permed my hair at home. Girl, I permed my hair. Girl, I ain't shame. I was like, why? But, uh, I had permed my hair, right? And I accidentally put some perm on, well, I didn't accidentally, but I put perm on my hair, and then, like, when I turned my head, a piece of the hair with a big old glob of perm went right in my eye. I mean, the whole glob of perm, the whole glob of perm Mm -hmm. went in my eye, and I don't know if you remember, um, this girl named Tamiko, light skin, short, kind of skinny. Tamiko, but she happened to um she happened to stay in my apartment building at that time. I couldn't see my boyfriend at the time was at home, and I'm just running around knocking on people's door. I mean, I thought I was going blind, like blind. I couldn't see mm-hmm. or nothing, and I went and banged on her door. She answered, girl. She uh, she answered and um answered the door. She called nine one one. Then my boyfriend happened to pull up and his homeboy and. They had me under the sink. I mean, talking to 911, rinsing my eyes out. I mean, it was a horrible experience. Then I had to go to the doctor, and they had to put me in this bed, and they had me face down, and they had my eyes pried open with this thing below me, rinsing the spraying water oh, up yeah. in my oh, eyes. Yeah. That's how bad my eyes would burn. And thank God I can see today, even though my eyesight ain't that great, but I can see. Mm-hmm. So this is all what I'm thinking. Like, if they pour bleach in your eyes and it really got in your eyes, it, you, <laughs> your eyes probably my eye was jacked up for at least a good two weeks. <laughs> at least a good two weeks. <laughs> that was yeah, the worst yeah, experience pain in my pain life. <laughs> that pain, there is nothing like your eye burning. That's that's oh god, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, that it, that was horrible. So I'm just thinking, like, when he got bleach in his eye, I'm like, that had to be very, very painful. I mean, you should have went to the, I would have called 911 immediately. Like, immediately. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, like I said, everything's not adding up. And I, I just want to know. I mean, I'm glad that he okay, but I just wonder, and then it make other people... Some people do have to be walking at time in the morning because they don't have a car, but they got to go out to work or something. You know, right. now, right. now they fear there's somebody out here or... Mm-hmm. And in Chicago, it's like they have those trains and stuff, and, you know, them things be running, you know, late at night, early in the morning. You know, people do have to catch those to go to work. So it's not, like, uncommon for somebody to be going to work at 3, 4, 5 in the morning, but for a uh, a subway sandwich, <laughs> and you the most one of the most famous people on television right now, right? And so. anybody could have went and got you some food, like 
Subway that brought it to him, they sell personally because he Probably showed them from so. that they business booming. Probably so. They, 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 I bet you people going to Subway, they probably ain't thought about Subway in years. If they ever never tried Subway, they probably was like, I got to go see what was that Subway that had this man outside this time of the yes. morning what they got getting do? noosed and bleached and everything. <laughs> what they got to do? What they got to do on the menu, y'all? I mean, they got some new meatballs. Well, <laughs> they, got, they got a new season. That's that, Girl, only that restaurant right there. That's that particular one. They got their special season. They do special <laughs> sauce they put on there just for him. They got um, people walking with 20, 30 wind chill. <laughs> they got to, got to have it like a pregnant woman. <gasps> Some cravings must have been. A, it must have been something he had from Subway before. Cause uh-huh. baby, you know, that's what's wrong. You know, sometimes mess, and that's just that's just. And I mean, it, it's <laughs> it's really ridiculous that you would go to those links. To this extent, I, I mean, I can't think of a motive as to why, but you initially were garnering all this sympathy and everybody was there for you and you know um supposedly yep. these people uh made homophobic slurs and right. you had the lgbt community and they were know, white they white, supremac- white supremacists and, and they were i mean it, it's hate con- like it was a hate crime from different levels if this situation really happened as far as gay as far as white supremacists races I mean, it. oh, my God. And then, like, the LGBT, they came out scrum. And you know that? Yeah. They came out scrum. Like, mm-mm. And it's Jussie, too. He killed, too. You know that? Like, uh-uh. Yeah. They messing with our Jussie. Yeah. <laughs> he got that good hair. He got that good hair. Shoe. <laughs> They made him sing. Yeah, he lay down when he get wet. Girl, he, he can he sing. He said lay down when he get wet. <laughs> you a mess. <laughs> I'm just saying it's true. I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> must be me. You going to sit here and make up a lie like that, boy. Oh, a whole lie. Come on. What they say, get the strap. You need, you need an ass whooping. You need a whole ass whooping. Uh, now, he better be taking notes, cause all the stories I done heard, I'm confused. So he I better know. be writing notes, I so hope. he don't get caught up. I hope he keeping track. Somebody, I bet you his assistant. He got his assistant on that, but he couldn't get him to go get that sandwich. Uh. <laughs> and then wait a minute. So he he didn't want to turn over the phone. Then he turned it over, and all this redacted stuff. Right. So he done tried to erase and and black out and. Sh- are you serious? Like, why? Why, why are you doing all that? The phone. That's the big thing, the phone. Like, the police wants to do a thorough investigation. This is a hate crime. This yeah. is a hate crime. Mm-hmm. And they need to do an investigation. And they need your phone. And you don't want to give it up? Like, well, you... Okay. So, apparently, he had, he had gotten some hate mail uh, a couple of days before, right at the and studio. You turn down, you gonna turn down the security, and then you decide to go walking That's by yourself. <laughs> are you willing to prove it? Are, I mean, just... are the letters real now? Did you write them yourself? I'm, Did the Nigerian write it? Look, I mean, <laughs> it looked like a little. I'm gonna tell you what it looked like. It looked like a ten year old decided to write with their left hand. That's Uh-oh. what they look like. Somebody wrote it with their left hand, and they're like 10, 11 years old. She That's what right. the letters look like. And I think they wrote it in crayon or, or marker. I oh. said, yeah. No. Okay. If, somebody was threatening, <laughs> if somebody was threatening me, threatening my life, me, my kids, we all going to have our own security guard. Like, for yeah. real, I'm wearing bulletproof vest. I'm going to be like 50. I'm wearing bulletproof vest everywhere I go. <laughs> And no, you seriously. Sure ain't be outside at by no your, 3 a.m. Mm, that's what make me think. Now I didn't know about the hate mail at first. So mm-hmm. he got hate mail a couple days a before. Letter saying Jesse, you must die, or Jesse, you will die, something like that. So this is making me yeah. think something else about this. It was uh, I, and forgive me, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it was like it's, it was set. It was a, it was it was probably a arranged meeting. You know. 
Mm-hmm. And once he, you know, we all the well, people that went somewhere and met up or whatever, you get somewhere and stuff don't go, even to a party or whatever, and it ain't what you think. You know, stuff don't go down the way you, you think it should. And something else, you know, jump off. Then you, you know, you don't want to exactly come out and say, well, this and this and that went up, down or whatever. But then just say but, nothing. Yeah. Like, just say nothing. But you know what? I did hear, uh, I didn't hear it a whole lot, but I did also hear that, you know, because uh, he lived in the north side of Chicago, and mm-hmm. that is uh, an area known for having uh, a high um, homosexual population, mm-hmm. and that he, um, was leaving a bar. I'm like, now that made more sense. Right. That you yeah. leaving a bar. I would have went for that better. And yeah. decide to go to Subway and then go home. Now yeah. that would have worked right there. Now he need to call you next time. Or met somebody <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> met somebody at the bar. Wasn't really feeling them. They followed him on the Subway. <laughs> he got attacked. It was... Yeah. I mean... But, I don't know. I don't know. It's so many stories we could say or possibly think of, but I just want the truth. It's it's time for him to. We need the truth. You is too big of a star to be sitting here telling us all these different. It's not adding up. We need to hear the truth, Jesse. We need yeah, the truth. I guess, and apparently, according to that story, when he was in that bar, I guess he was hitting on this guy, and the guy's boyfriend didn't like it. Now, oh. that to me sounds more plausible. That yeah, sounds yeah, yeah. like a true story. But this shit, you just walk into Subway and these two dudes just standing out there in the cold with bleep. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, because even still, unless they went to the grocery <laughs> store earlier and had it in the truck or they car, I mean, it still was probably frozen. <laughs> I still want to know. Yeah. They had, they had a hot plate in the in their vehicle. <laughs> I mean, Samantha, we should get some bleach and throw it up in the air outside. Let's do a test. Let's do, <laughs> let's do a scientific test. Go outside right now. What's the temperature here right now, Keontae? Like, it got to be like, what, 14? Yeah, they wasn't making it rain. They was making it snow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh my God, that's too funny. He's a but um, somebody just, the temperature. Uh, it's supposed to be coming up here. It says twelve degrees outside with a real feel of six degrees. <laughs> oh man! While I'm just checking my uh, inbox on Facebook, somebody just texted me and said, "Hey Tanya, how are you? Is it too late to place an order for a cake?" No date. It's KK. I know. I'm just saying that's that's what she said. <laughs> like, is what too late? Is tomorrow too late to get it? Um, is, they didn't give me no time. Like, do you well, need it tomorrow? Uh, do you need it? I mean, is it too late to order a cake? Well, well, well nothing. Get my cake. <laughs> Well, you trying to get a cake for when? I, I mean, for tonight? To tomorrow, for too. tomorrow? I mean, <laughs> that was it. It was like, most people be like, is it too late to order a cake for next Saturday or for Wednesday or for, t-? you know, they'll put a date behind it. She just said, is it too late to order a cake? Plain and simple, yo. Girl, okay, I just thought that was funny. I just had to... <laughs> How did they say that? Somebody that you like to go. Uh, girl, if they waiting on me to bake cake for tomorrow, they're going to be sitting there with candles and girl, some ice cream. That's and you know what? Like. I was just telling my son, I swear, I was just telling my son, I said, uh, before I came over Sam's to do this live, I said, I ain't got no orders this weekend. Hey. Because you know that's a baker's, the weekend is like, the most busy time for a baker. And I'm like, I ain't yeah. got no orders this weekend. I can chill. Like, I'm like, what should we do? Should we go to a movie? Should we go? My son, like, what's playing? You know, we. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Which one of your sons? If somebody, the, the, one the one youngest one. one. I don't know. <laughs> don't be talking about my baby. Now, back in the group. Huh? <laughs> now, back to this Jesse stuff. Now, I could be wrong. 
It's happened once or twice before where I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, we can all be wrong because we all got different um, storylines that we didn't came up with. So you know, allegedly, but, that's why I say allegedly. Right, but the way it's going, and you know how, like I said, I've been saying since day one. Mm, no, not adding up. Mm-mm. Not adding up. And you want to know something else? I got jumped on for what? I don't know if you seen that one that Andrea Kelly about the surviving R. Kelly. I seen your post on that. I seen your post. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it on Facebook. <laughs> but you know what? My thing is, can I say? I'm by what I said. Sometimes when I post stuff that's controversial, I just post it and I let whatever comments come and I let them. In the comment section, get into it, get into it. And I just be sitting there. I'm like, sometimes you just post stuff just to get feedback. I'm not going to argue with nobody on Facebook or Instagram. Or even when some people might say something in my uh, comments on my YouTube videos Mm -hmm. that might be like, okay, that's kind of messed up. I don't argue in the comment section. I go, so, I go on YouTube to argue. Oh damn! <laughs> oh damn! Oh damn! <laughs> you know, and I'll be in the comment section. You know, I just I mean, be cracking up. What I do, I'll take a subject, a topic, and put it on there, and right. I'll let people comment for a while, and then I'll come and give my opinion. Mm-hmm. And as far as her, she another bald ass liar. <laughs> So you think you think Andrea never got tied up and hog tied and beat in the back of her truck and uh, starved and you don't think none of that happened? Hell no. Oh. If she got hog tied, it was something they was into for foreplay. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cause she she got kids, Ooh. don't she? Yeah, they got two kids. <laughs> So I think they, they, got got, three. No, they got three. They got two boys and a girl. They got, two, uh-uh, they got two girls and a boy. Two girls and a boy. Okay. And uh, the reason I say that she's a whole ass lie, first of all, she, said a she claimed she didn't know who R. Kelly was. Are you serious? You didn't oh, know you who mean he was. When, before she started dancing for him? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, he was already out. He was already saying, okay. Okay, we'll let that one slide. She claimed she, at the time, she didn't know nothing about Aaliyah, the the situation with Aaliyah. Really? When it was all, I mean, all over. Yeah, we didn't we didn't have the internet then. You know, it was in magazines and mm-hmm. on TV. Because B- I, I remember BET, MTV, all of them talking about it. And see, I, I, I can't believe that. I remember about it in the source and in vibes. Now that yeah, part I can agree on. I can agree with you on that one. That there should have been no reason, nobody, nowhere, especially if you black and in America. I don't care how sheltered of a life you had or how religious your family background was. Now you know my family. They we grew up real religious, mm-hmm. and we didn't listen to no secular music in the household. But I heard it. <laughs> and she was a dancer. Oh, yeah, she didn't hear it. And she was a dancer. You mean to tell me that y'all never danced to an R. Kelly song? In the community. In the in the in the, 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 the It's like, come on. Girl. Come on. That part but I do not you, believe. Not only that, you go from there, you date him, and then you marry him. You pop out three of his kids. That, that's what I was saying. Back to back. All, all this them. stuff mm. is all this stuff is supposedly happening. He he supposedly uh dating these uh these uh underage. young ass girls, uh-huh. these underage girls. And it's supposedly going on in your house. Why she and locked you know upstairs. nothing about it. That's what I, that's well, what I was uh I don't believe that. it. I mean, as far as Andrea Kelly, and I've done a couple of lives or videos on her, one part, I, one part that she's, I feel, I feel that she's not being honest with, and that's the fact that she took part in either recruiting young girls or just like the other lady. They, they admit it, yeah. We we hated it. We were disgusted, but he made us do it. We knew they were young. They were 14, 15. We admit this is what we did. Mm-hmm. I think she did some stuff, too. I think she did some stuff, too. She owns, 
think about it. Okay, let's let's break this down. I'm going to tell you what I feel about her. So, you were married. You were with this man for 13 years. Y'all were y'all dated for three, and you were married for 10. Mm-hmm. You living in the house with him. All this stuff is going on. You and 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 supposedly you knew. Well, you didn't know about these young girls. But I'm I'm telling you, she's a lie. And the only reason that she's a victim now is because she doesn't want to be implicated in the crime. That's, That's it. what I'm saying. That's how I, I see it, too. You participate. And I, I believe she I don't believe. want to be implicated, but I still believe that he was abusive to her. I still believe oh, that. I, I still believe but that. But be I don't believe that she... I don't believe that she didn't know anything. And that probably was a reason like, okay, like they keep saying, how could this go on for so long, for so long, for so long? I think a lot of people played part in, you know, making these uh, young girls get uh, sexually either assaulted or even if it was willing participation. Mm -hmm. That's why to me it lasted so long. Not that it happened because some people like, oh, it didn't really happen. Some of them lying. No, I believe, I believe the stories and I believe it happened, but I believe so many people knew they would go down with him. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't, he didn't recruit those young girls by himself. He's not stupid. I'm gonna tell he you ain't stupid. Happened. He got other people <laughs> doing stuff for him. <laughs> well, this is what happened. And I'm going to tell you, this is mine. This is my allegedly. Allegedly. He had other people <laughs> recruit. He would, to think about it, they always said he never went and got these girls. Exactly. And mm-hmm. they was always girls. Mm-hmm. Right. They were never grown women. Right. He had other people do it because basically, if you think about it, it's like that, uh, like in Nino in, in uh, New Jack City. If I go down, we everybody all go down. going down. Right. right. Yeah. Yep. Because they went and got the girls for him, and they would fly them so out. You are, you are, exp- you are implicit in this crime too. Yep. Not only that. Now, this lady, what was her name, Kitty Kelly? Because I didn't even watch the series. i just been hearing and reading. Mm-hmm. So, you mean to tell me you walked in? No, that was the background singer. I'm sorry. You walked in on him having sex with Aaliyah, knowing this girl is like 15, 14, 15 and years old. And she wasn't old, the only one. That was on the tour bus. That was on yeah, the tour bus. Yeah. So, she wasn't the only one who saw. They all saw when the door opened. But, but again, but again, they... Things were happening before Aaliyah, I believe. Before Aaliyah. And it's like, if we tell, are we accessories? Of course you're an accessory. <laughs> I mean, y'all bring y'all probably bring food to this girl. Y'all probably doing her hair, doing her nails, bringing food to the girl, making sure she got clothes, making sure she got... I mean, y'all accessories. Yeah. And then he had, had them girls yeah, believing they're going to be stars and singers. Like apparently, like before I start watching Trash UK. Oh, mm. um, <laughs> I, I'm done with that was, channel. Uh, <laughs> his brother, and the brother was saying how he had got their 13 year old cousin pregnant, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and because it's a it's a boy, and he's like a teenager now, right? Or oh, shit, he might be grown, right? But. The family knows about this. They know about it. And the brother said he didn't want to say who it was because he wants her to be allowed to tell her own story when she's ready. Mm-hmm. And nobody says nothing, I guess, because he sends money to the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that's what I said when I did my live. I said, if that's the case and my child has a baby by, you know, her cousin and he's a very rich entertainer, um, okay, if we don't go to the courts, Oh, we get paid. Right. We get paid. We get paid. That baby going to be able to go to college 10 times over. <laughs> His kids going to be able to go to college. Shoot, about the time I finish with him. And that's, but that's well, what he did. Yeah, a lot of, uh, of all, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. If my child was that young and pregnant by their cousin, it's going to be a couple of things that happen. Uh, first one, she not having that kid. We not having that. The, and then number two. I mean, I get it. I get it. He gonna, he gonna either be in the hospital, locked or dead. up. One of yep. the two. 
when I'm gonna be in a cell, I'll probably be doing my interview from the back of a police car or from right. a cell. I know but, I would be like yeah. the end result would be he would be in jail. And I, I I don't have daughters, but I always tell people, I always treated my sons the same way I would with a daughter when it came to that topic. Yeah. Um, I don't give a dog gone. Don't think boys don't get molested and raped. Oh, a lot of boys a lot of boys like... don't see themselves as a possibility. They think, Oh, this just happened to girls. You know, because that's what you normally hear. Mm -hmm. Mainly because boys don't speak up about it. Men don't speak up mm -hmm. about it when it when it happens to them. But you have to talk to your boys like that too. I don't give a god dog on if they tell you they gonna kill me, they're gonna burn our house down, they're gonna cut your tongue out, they gonna You still tell. You still tell. You okay. couldn't tell me. Cause it's not gonna ride. I'm not gonna be that parent that says, "Oh, I don't believe you," or "Oh, it must have been your right. fault," or "Oh, they he didn't mean it. it. He didn't mean it." <laughs> you know. <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that, when it comes to something like that, no, we are gonna ride first, and then we are gonna ask questions later. Now I could be wrong, and I'll apologize after I whoop your ass. But, first, but you don't never know what you're gonna do. I'm gonna get an ass whooped. <laughs> In that situation, you don't know, because there has been a time when I thought my child was hurt, and I'm not going to say sexually assaulted, but just hurt by someone, and I'm like, putting on boots, let's go. Where they at? <laughs> you know, yeah, I've always been that parent, like, I mean, I don't even think. It'd be like, just a reaction. A teacher said, what? <laughs> exactly. I mean, when I call like telling me when teachers got to reprimand him a because teacher? he know I'm gonna be like, hold on, what's the teacher name? What class is this? Girl, oh, a okay. teacher. I'm gonna call it. You be like, no, mom, mom, mom. This is okay. It's okay. No. It ain't okay. It don't matter. A teacher, a coach, a you relative. Know, check into that. Girl, my uh, oldest son, senior year of high school, I was banned. From all OPS <laughs> basketball. Do you remember I that? Remember that. <laughs> I was banned from all OPS. Not just the games that they not not just their <laughs> games. It could be a to two totally different schools playing and I can't come. I was banned from all games in the area. Like, because my son and a lot of our sons on the basketball team was being Totally, totally disrespected. None of the seniors was getting to play their senior year. I mean, it was it was a whole bunch. It was too much to get into right now. I mean, the oh. the coaches cussing them out, like not just cussing them out, like coaches. Y'all get your ass together. You know, not just like like really cussing like a, at the a, kids, a like right, right, like. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a lot, and then like the parents, it was disrespect to the parents. And one day, it was after a game, and none of the seniors got to play. Mind you, this they senior year, right? None, they they got scouts and stuff coming. None of the seniors was being able to play. All the freshmen and sophomores was playing for like the last seven games, and so <clears throat> I stopped the coach, and after the game, and real politely, I'm like, "Hey, coach." Can I holler at you for a minute, you know, after the game or when's a good time? We can say, I ain't got time for you right now. I, da, 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 da. I, ain't, got, I ain't about to talk. I ain't about to go through this right now. And, da, da, da. and he turned around and stormed off. Now, I had heard before from other parents that he treated them the same way, whether they called him or stopped him in the school or, you know, they treated him the same way. So a lot of us parents had got together. We even had a meeting with the principal mm -hmm. about this coach. This how bad it was. And so when he did that to me, girl, I'm already hot headed when somebody disrespects me. I was about so to say you already I, know how I am, so girl, it would it would have went down right there on the court. When I tell you him. when I tell you, I must have dropped everything I had. I was like, here, hold this to whoever was with me, hold this. Because it's about to go down. And they was like, no, Tanya, let's just leave. We can deal with this. Like, no. <laughs> no. No, we got to do this right when now. I, thought, <laughs> I sat outside that I sat outside that locker room till I thought all the boys was out. 
and I must have thrown <laughs> up in there, and I must have went off. I was calling that coach every. I don't Ooh. know who the f you think I am, mother f. I'm da 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 da. You ain't go, girl. I was going off. I mean, I went from <laughs> zero to one hundred in less than two point five seconds. I was going off. The coach was like. Oh my God! Call security! Call security! I was mad. I'm like, when can we talk then? We can't talk now. When can we talk? Put me on your calendar. I mean, I was going. <laughs> I was going. Oh, that's what you want to do it, Look, right there. That's what you want to do me in, right there. And you remember Troy? Rest in peace, security guard. That's my cousin. Yes, yeah. Troy was there that night, and they was they had to escort me. Well, they was like kind of they was, was kind of like pulling on me. They, you know, we 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 real cool, you know. So he was like, "Come on, Tony, let's just go, let's just go, let's go." He pulling me out, you know. He's security and stuff, and I'm like, "Okay, I'm, I'm swinging at him." No, nah, get off me! I mean, uh, I'm surprised I wasn't on a uh, world star or something. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody took no video, girl. I'm surprised nobody took no videos because it was. It was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. And then after it was all over with, I apologized to my son out in the car. I said, I'm so sorry. I, I'm like, <laughs> I really blew up. I said, but do you understand why? He said, yeah, mama, that was funny. All my boys laughing and talking about it. Like, your mama went hell. Like, that's Miss Tanya. Miss Tanya don't play. <laughs> I said, my kids are all. I refuse to apologize <laughs> for defending y'all. Because, That's I mean, he knew. Tell them to take their sensitive ass feelings on somewhere. But when it comes to mine, mm -hmm. I, I refuse to apologize. See, no. the kids done seen me go. He have to, they, my kids have the same friends since, like, kindergarten and first grade. Mm -hmm. So they already know how I get down. So they, 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 they just were probably surprised that I actually busted up in the locker room but he didn't want to talk to me outside the locker room he wanted to embarrass me and insult me Ooh. and yell and scream at me i mean i'm like hey coach <laughs> can i holler at you after <laughs> i mean he went <laughs> off like <laughs> he went off and i'm looking like everybody's mm -hmm. staring like mm -hmm. damn what she do you I would have had him hemmed up against the wall somewhere. Girl, she, I, mm -mm. After that, they mm -mm. had a meeting with the school board and everything, and I was banned for the rest of the oh year. For the I rest never of the year. knew that. Yes, yes. <laughs> I had, I had put it on Facebook and everything. But <laughs> yep, I was. But I was back banned. to the I want to go back to that because I still got stuff I got to get off my chest. Please, honey, please do. I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you done got me all riled up. <laughs> look, she over there ready to look for that coach again. <laughs> look at Samantha. <laughs> She's like, what's his name again? Give me a phone book. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I'm telling y'all. Mm -mm. But no, and my thing with the whole R. Kelly thing, I, you know, I don't doubt that he is a pedophile. I truly believe that he is. Yeah, me too. I know that he is. Mm -hmm. Um, but my there's a but, a caveat. Anybody who has messed with this man after 2002, when that tape came out and he pissed on that girl, mm -hmm. Lord, have, Lord, you are not a victim. You are a volunteer. But you know what? Right. A lot mm -hmm. of people got to say about that thing the same thing they say about others who get off. Oh, he was innocent. They didn't find him guilty, so he's fine. And a lot of parents after that was thinking, he Oh, was, he's, you know, he's innocent it wasn't now. That he was innocent. What happened was. It wasn't that he was innocent. What it was is they couldn't verify the age of that girl. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know. And, and she didn't come forward. That's what, got, that's what he got off on. They couldn't verify the age, and she didn't testify, mm -hmm. and her parents wouldn't allow. They kept denying, saying mm -hmm. it wasn't her. So it was a lot of reasons why he didn't get arrested. But I'm saying from some people outside looking in, they think it was. They wouldn't testify against him. If they were saying it wasn't their daughter, then he must didn't do it. That's how a lot of people was thinking. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, a lot of people was thinking mm -hmm. that. Me, personally, I'm thinking I know he did it. Like I said, that tape was all going all around the world and I, 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 and came to these Omaha streets. And I saw the tape. I saw it, too. 
a long time ago. Boy, you talking you about in the, the, in the in the in the in the that I was helping him package it up. Shh, girl, the tape was all in the projects. <laughs> <laughs> All in the project. Now, he was in the studio, and he had, it was like a, we was in the basement of Leola. And oh, Leola. One side was the recording was the studio, spot. and the other side, he was doing photography over there. Yeah. And me and him went to school together, and he was like, oh, I got this new R. Kelly sex tape and blah, blah, blah. So I'm helping him put them in the little packages and shit. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> they were selling like hotcakes. They were selling right. like hotcakes. But, but I believe you know, it. Even like that Jocelyn Savage girl, her parents need to sit down and shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of them. I'm so sick of them. They basically sold their daughter. Right. Oh, they okay. basically yeah, sold yeah, their yeah, girl. Yeah. Exactly. Because what, she apparently, supposedly, she was, you know, wanted, she was an aspiring singer. And her mm-hmm. mama took her to a concert. And mm-hmm. somehow they got backstage. Mm-hmm. And the one of the little messengers got her number, and they started um, started some kind of negotiation. Well, I don't remember what it was for, but the father was getting paid. At this point, the girl was staying with him. Mm-hmm. The father was getting paid, mm-hmm. and they were supposed. What it was supposed to happen was the oldest daughter was supposed to come out with something, and then. They was going to put that younger girl on, too, because she's a rapper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. that what happened was, I, I I don't know exactly, but this is my version. I believe uh, Kells stopped paying the daddy, mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Just like with, uh, with Drea. Mm-hmm. Kelly stopped the bag. Now all of a sudden you a victim. But from her words, he never, he never had, he never began the bags. After they separated, he refused to pay. Yeah, that's so I, I don't, I, she didn't get any money from him actually. <clears throat> but um, as far money. as like, you know what? When you say she, that, she, um, because when she was on Hollywood Exes, she was talking about. Well, I mean, when she uh, she was getting paid, but I don't think he was. I think he was oh, butt yeah, hurt was that bad. he left, that she left him, and I, I believe it. I mean, even people who ain't famous. Oh, you gonna leave me? I ain't paying you, Jack. But you know what? As far as when you said, um, you believe that Jocelyn's family was getting paid. You know what? I kind of believe Aaliyah's was too. Oh yeah, that's why they, they they refused. Because one thing is this: her mama is so adamant. I'm like, if that never happened, and this and that. But they was but married. You, but here's here's the here's the thing, though. Okay, so you claim they never got married, so. But you can go and order that uh, the copy of the uh, license. <laughs> you can go and get it from the Cook County uh, register. You yep. can go and get it. Yep. And then if they never got married, how can you know something? Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. It got annulled in Detroit. So if they never got married, how can you know it? I think he paid them off. I think they had a contract where they can't speak about it. And just like he's done oh, with so many others, it, it, he's done it to so many others, and and that I yeah. believe that man is not. I, girl, I wouldn't let my daughter two thousand feet, a hundred feet, a million feet. <laughs> oh, girl, <laughs> Matter of fact, let me have a daughter. We leave in America. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. And then that one girl, the one chick that was like grown and left her radio job in Dallas. That to was come crazy. and be with him, and you a victim. It's, so you, now you definitely was a volunteer because you was overgrown, that and was you crazy. went willingly, and you went knowing all this other shit that he has done in the past, and you went of your own accord. Now these young girls, I, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of people at fault. These hot ass girls, you know, they they young. But I know good and hell well they done probably Googled him and read about his history. Uh-huh. Their parents, where the hell are you at? Uh-huh. Where were you at? Waiting on the money. And then all these people that's all these people that's working for him, I don't give them how much money you pay me. You cannot pay me enough to sit here and let me be a part of or watch you doing something like this to some young underage girl. Right. And it's the lady you talking about, um, the lady you talking about is Kitty Jones. That was the radio, 
uh, lady, mm-hmm. Kitty Jones. So yeah, she went she to, left her I whole did. job, honey. Left her job working at a radio station. Quit her job and mm-hmm. left and moved in with him. So she knew. Now how stupid is it? And she told and she her friends. She was brainwashed at that point. At that point, you were willingly going and doing this. Willingly. So how are you she a victim? Was, and it didn't take long for him to tell her, now I'm going to be with other people. And she still was like, okay, daddy. That's what they're supposed to call her. Okay, well, daddy. Yes. That's <laughs> okay. Whatever you want, I daddy. I can say that to a man. Whatever you want, daddy. That's <laughs> my daddy. <laughs> daddy. However you want it, daddy. me <laughs> because Andrea went on this Crocodile Tears tour talking about how she was a damn victim. And but then you're she, super no, funny. my parents didn't raise me to be like this and blah 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 blah. And I'm you, you biggie badass, but you wouldn't biggie badass in the house when you were supposedly hog tied and asking permission to go piss because I'd have pissed on now you. That's, now that's because so, he liked it uh, allegedly. They said he would have buckets in the doggone bedrooms. One for urine, one for, you know, feces. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's what they said. No, no. More than, uh, more uh, than one uh, of them uh, said uh, that. Uh, he would keep them locked up in, in rooms and wouldn't let them out. They well, couldn't come out. They had to ask permission. Right now, cause I'm just like, for real. They had to ask permission to eat, what? to get a drink, to use the bathroom, to go to the store, to go. And then they oh. had to go everywhere they went. They had to be surrounded by bodyguards. They couldn't just go by themselves. But remember that one. Now they we see. my bodyguards like somebody know who the hell they are. Right, right, and they ain't they they ain't nobody, nobody famous. He got them surrounded so they can't leave. But remember the girl yeah. that we saw, and they said that uh, she was talking, and she was like, she she had that that uh, Gucci thing wrapped on her head. You talking things. about the one that her mom got her from the hotel? I want to say, yeah. Is that the one but where... She, now, she if, they, if they prisoners, how, how was it that easy that her mama just walked up there and got her? Right. Well, it, it, it didn't happen that easy, though. Because when she first went up there to get her, the girl wouldn't even open the door because... um his, Somebody his, was there with her. The one who helped recruit the girl, she was in the hotel with her. And she told her mom, it's not safe, it's not safe, you gotta go, you gotta, gotta go, gotta go. And the security and everything was like, are you okay? And she just started crying in the doorway, and she shut the door on her mom. And then, like, a few minutes later, when her mom was in the car, in the truck with the producers, uh, the, um, the people at the desk came out there and said, your daughter's on the phone, your daughter needs to talk to you. And then when she got to the phone... Her daughter was like, um, now this is all live. We saw this all go down. Mm-hmm. And the daughter said, um, come back at 6 o'clock. It's safe at 6 o'clock. Because the lady, the other lady, I can't remember her name, but she was leaving for a while. And so mm-hmm. her mom came back at 6 o'clock. They grabbed all her stuff, grabbed her bags, hurried, the security hurried up and got her out the hotel room. And she was all in the car, like, crying, like, bawling, like, I'm so glad you came for me. I'm so glad you came for me. You just don't understand. And the girl, he had her dressed up like a boy because she was already a tomboy. That was his little boy toy, as, you know, some of the other women called. That was his boy toy. That's the one he really treated like a boy. He had her dress. She always had to dress like a boy. And wife beaters, you know, baseball cap. Yes, he kept her hair cut the mama on came. like a boy. He made her when they saw her and um her mom on the street too. When they saw her on the street that one time and um the I can't what what's the name of the the paparazzi had took pictures. This was like mm-hmm. a year before. And they saw her um on the street and she if you didn't know her, you would have thought she was a boy. She was a boy. The fade, the cut, the I everything. And he treated her like a boy, like a, because you know they say he was allegedly having relations with men and women. Jesus, I believe it. men and women. I do too, and so I think that was his little boy. You know what I mean? But anyway, I, just, I, I you know, I understand there are people with low self esteem, and they do go along with what you know somebody who's controlling tells them to be do. Me. But how low is your self-esteem that you allow someone to dress you and treat you as a boy? It's You allow it's this crazy. person to keep you in a room 
allegedly with two buckets for you to for urine and excrement. Yeah. It's it, it's crazy the stuff. I mean, once you watched I know you didn't watch it, but I mean, millions of people watch that show and they now understand. They now understand. And that's all I can say. I understand. I, I, I can't say that I'm, um, I won't judge these women. I'll never judge anybody. Um, regardless of how hard it seems for us to be like, why'd you go? Why'd you stay? Why you didn't run away? Why you didn't sneak off in the middle of the night? Why you didn't, you know, jump out the car? Why I, I can't. I'm not going to judge. I just know what I wouldn't do. And I done been in situations I that, where... I, I'm trying not to judge, but I have a lot of questions. Right. And I done a been in situations where it could have turned out. It could... Man. <laughs> you know when you're young, you do things and you don't always think where you go, who yeah. you're going with, who yeah. you're meeting... The place where you're meeting, you ain't never been there before. You don't know who's going to be there. I done been in some situations where I had to pull out knives, okay? Pull well, out I knives. I oh, 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 men. Oh, men. So I have been in situations where you probably, you wouldn't know Tanya today. You would have never met me. You probably would have seen me on a, on a news story. <clears throat> but there has been times where I'm like, oh, my God. There's times that in my life that made me make better choices, especially when it came to men, especially when it came to meeting men for the first time or where we meet or where, you know, it, 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 I, I, we done all been through some things. So that's why I say life lessons and fools and I was definitely a fool many times growing up too. <laughs> many times too. I made yeah, many mistakes in my life, but that what makes me who I am today. So, and but I can my tell thing you about the whole okay, my, my, I have issues with why did y'all wait this long to tell? Mm -hmm. All of these women. Why yeah. you wait until for most of them? The statute of limitations is over. The statute of limitations so you, is over. They can't even prosecute. They can't even prosecute this. Man. And that's the thing. They can't get and nothing out of it. And that's why. I mean, I believe the stories anyway. But because of the fact that of who he is, I mean. Some people wouldn't have believed. I mean, come on now. All the people who didn't believe Bill Cosby, believe Bill Cosby would do something. All the people who did There's a whole bunch of <laughs> famous people, black, white, shoot, Mexican, Hebrew. It's a whole bunch of people out there that are entertainers and very rich um, or high up in society who people, why would they do that? They don't have to rape nobody. They don't have to assault nobody. They can get it thrown at them any time of the day. For free. Yeah. You know? And it's like yeah. some of these people with so much power, I believe, like like the Harvey. How he was telling people, you'll never act in another movie ever in your life. I mean, just these people <laughs> with this power over these people. And some people just it turn them on. Nobody. I mean, on. after R. Kelly got away with Aaliyah, that was it for me. That was it for me. On power trip. But I think, do, like I said, you know, you could have and this is my issue. You didn't like how it felt when he did this to you. Mm -hmm. You had the power to stop him right then. Right. But you wait 10, 15, 20 years to tell your story. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden you are an advocate for victims. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you have been an advocate 15 years ago and saved all these other people from ever being a victim? And that seems like the right, obvious thing to do. But in our society, That's what I was every day, say, Tanya, no every joke. day, you can say your uncle raped you and nobody in the family will believe you. You can nope. say, yo, I mean, some people hold stuff in because they know nobody won't believe them. I mean, if these people were getting, trying to get more than what they, trying to get something out of it, I mean, they can't get nothing out of it. So it's like, how does it benefit them to sit there and lie? I, I don't believe they're lying. I just don't. I, I, I believe that they should have spoke up. 
just keep, I'm going to tell you what is going to benefit them. Just keep watching. They're going to have books. That's what I was going to say. Gonna, life they life already time. doing these tours on these different talk shows. They're going to have reality shows. Somebody going to become an actor or singer. And they might, yes, but that don't negate the they fact. That don't mean that they ain't lying. lying. But that don't mean that they're lying. I mean, no, no I'm that not saying mean, that. That don't mean you're lying. That's true. That's true. And I, you know, and I'm not saying that they're not victims. I'm, mm-hmm. not, that's, I'm not saying that at all. You know, I'm just saying but we cannot judge people how long they wait to tell. We just can't. Well, because like, it's a lot of, you have to be in that person's shoes to, I know people personally who never told people that somebody raped yeah. them. I mean, never told. Yeah. And so I'm not going to judge them on that. But one thing I do believe that if they would have spoke up earlier, it might have helped. But then again, look at Aaliyah. Look at um, Sparkle's niece. I mean, when you get away with some big shit like that, I mean, mm-hmm. who's going to believe he got away with Aaliyah? Aaliyah was, a, Aaliyah was a movie star. She was a singer. She was famous. But not that she, time she and was, he, she was and just he, starting out singing. But I'm right. saying, he still, he still was with her. He was with her. People yeah. knew he yeah. was with her. And people knew he had married yeah. her. And people knew he had lied. And yeah. he still got away with Aaliyah. She was famous. Even after her first doggone two songs out, that girl was known all over the place. (laughs) And nobody believed him. And then the Sparkles Needs, they didn't believe him on that either. I'm like... But I'm going to tell you what they're doing now. Since they can't convict him in a court of law, they're they're, they're persecuting him in the court of public opinion. Right. Right. But see, what I hate, what I also hate is... And that's any scenario. Any person, whoever the victim is, whoever the uh, perpetrator is. I What I hate is people know he's guilty of this. Guilty of sin. Mm-hmm. But they still blast the women for waiting so long. It is They pay more attention yes. to the fact that the women waited what and happened not to more attention on this nasty man who has been doing this for years and probably still doing it. That's that's what I no, don't like. I said, you know, I and I've been saying that for years. He he's nasty. He's a pervert. I this I know. I I can I will never dispute that. And I bet he. But you know, and and me and my cousin, we we kind of when I made that post, we were talking. And she was like, you know, we cannot say when a victim is going to speak. Right. You can't say that, but I want to say this about R. Kelly. Okay, right is right and wrong is wrong. True enough, but Mm -hmm. that's just like the same thing I feel with Bill Cosby and him all together. I'm not saying that neither one did it, but it always be, and this is life to me, to me, my opinion. But once one person come out with something and other people, it may have happened to them as well. But, you know, just like in class, everybody want to ask this question, but only one person sometimes brave enough to, to ask to it. Ask it. Mm-hmm. So then after that, the ice is broken. Then here come everybody else with theirs. Exactly. But with, 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 <laughs> what I feel went on with Bill Cosby and R. Kelly is I'm not like I said I don't know for sure. Do I feel like some some something wasn't right in the situation? Yeah, something somewhere went down. But that one person that spoke out first, then here come all these other people. Happened to them? Maybe yes, maybe no. But a lot of times people look at oh I'm getting on this train too because I'm getting some of this money. You know they all think they're gonna well, get money, money, right. money, money, money. And they don't, half those people that if it did or did not happen to them, or if it did, they don't want the they don't want him to be in prison. They want they want to they 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 want they want they money. Want... They wanted something like you said a book, mm-hmm. a record deal. Mm-hmm. They looking for something. If it's not for them, if they feel like their time has passed in that area, especially if it's like rapping or 
want to be a songwriter or something like that, you know, they feel like, oh, I'm watching from air, but my niece or my son or somebody, you know, because everybody now they seem like they want to be a rapper until they're like 80. Mm -hmm. But one thing I say is, you know what, R. Kelly is a doggone good singer. Bill Cosby, a very awesome actor. Mm -hmm. But can't one thing is, can't you can't, all they can take is they riches. But you know what, what's meant for you going to be for you? And right is right, and wrong is wrong is what I always say. One thing I always say is about anybody, it's like this man I knew. I used to work with him. He came to work, and he looked at, like, um, oh, you know, yeah. like he needed to get himself <laughs> together. But one day he said he was on the bus. Up. This lady drove up. She picked him up. You know, she was driving out every day, waving to him. To, to, from what he could do with what he had, he looked at okay. But once when he got with her, you know, she went and got, like, the Supreme. She made him, like, not just the junior bacon, but like the, the double Big Mac or whatever. So, <laughs> so now everybody looking. They want a bite. They want. They they want. They they wanted to probably get a nibble of, the, of the, this little burger. But now that she didn't, you know, did the whole deal. Now they want them. You know what I mean? You no, know, what I'm saying. Gave a grand makeover. So that's how it is with Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. One person figured, oh, he gave he gave this lady over here this amount of money, or this person over here tried to hush them up. Oh, I'm a I will mine up here. You know what I mean? So right. if, if he right. did it or not, or if, you know, Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby been convicted, obviously, because he's in prison, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. one thing I say is, R. Kelly may not never see inside of a jail for any of this. And people, right. in my heart, I believe people don't want Bill Cosby to go there either. But that's what happened with him. Especially with Bill Cosby's age. I want him to go. I want him to go. If you really raped somebody and you drugged them like we know he did, he admitted to it. I mean, and people still, oh, they waited for long. That's what I be saying. Uh, Bill Cosby could have said a thousand times, yeah, I raped him. They still be like, well, why they waited so long? Why they waited so long? It's like, and that's what's getting people. And the victim shaming is ridiculous. It's like ridiculous. He did the crime. Let him do the time. If his old butt would have raped me with some preludes or something, <laughs> yeah, I want him to go to jail. <laughs> don't nobody want to make. I don't care. <laughs> and everybody talk. Everybody talk about to laugh. Co Ms. No, Bill Cosby was funny, handsome. No, funny. Yes, I never thought Bill Cosby mm -hmm. was handsome. He always Ooh, looked. No. He just always looked like a. I, I don't know. No shade. No like shade. Like a sweater. He just. <laughs> Well, now, well, so, so you know what, but my thing is this, this is me right now, is a lot of people, oh, they going after all our black men. I so hate what, that. I hate but that. what about the people your black men went after? Thank Girl. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And if they not going after other people, nobody will be able to come for them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that's true. But that's what I mean when you, when one person, when you, it's like they say, don't open that can of worms. Don't open that door. Once that stuff happens, everybody do. But they always wait on, it takes that one person. And then that, that there it is. So somewhere, mm -hmm. what did it say? The truth of the matter is somewhere. Mm -hmm. But like with Bill Cosby, what I'm saying is because of his age and everything, you know, I don't think he's going to stay in prison long. Because he gonna have some good time because he 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 too old and feeble to do anything wrong. He can't start no fights. He can't. I mean, what he gonna do? He he, he gonna, gonna have good time. So this short amount of time that he got, he gonna be home soon. I'm hoping he get. I really. It's like okay. It's like even with the R, even with the R Kelly no. Even with the R. Kelly situation, and I'm sure a lot of people feel like this about Wine, whatever his name is, but you know, when you really love and respected somebody for so long I know, and enjoy their talents and it. stuff, enjoy their talents and bought every CD, I, had, I got every R. Kelly CD there is, <laughs> and it's like, you want them to pay for what they did. I don't want them to go to jail forever, you know, and die in prison. Right. I, no, I, I would, nobody, prefer, nobody I would prefer for them to honestly say they did what they did. Try to make man up to up. the people. Man up and say what you did. Man up to the victims. You know, um, and just, but hold on. I got, just, I got, just I got say a, what I got you a, did. I got a question on that part. 
Now you said you don't want them to go to jail forever. But if that was out of if it's out of the no, I'm saying if it's out of like these, the they can't go to jail. That's what I'm saying. They in this situation, they can't go to jail. They can't prosecute them. This stuff didn't pass. You know what I'm saying? So for these victims, at least give them the respect to say it happened and they're not liars. You know what I mean? Right. Now, of course, if right. this was yeah. within the last yeah. few years, yeah, I want them to go to jail. But I'm saying it's. It's, it's too late. We can't do anything that happened 10, 15, 20, you know, 25 years ago about it. But give them the, sometimes the satisfaction of just saying, I I'm wrong. not a liar. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a liar. This is what I did. And, and, and he will that never, he will that never that. do that. I know he will never do mm-hmm. that. He going to still, R. Kelly going to still be somewhere Remind too prideful. Rem- right. And that's too much prideful. Down ball. Yep. yep. Too prideful. And I didn't see that in him until I saw, like, when he was talking. I forgot on which one. And I was just like, like. Was it that one interview? Or was it an interview? He yeah, had? he was doing an interview. And I was like, this man something else. He's, he come a long way from when he say somebody remind him of his Jeep. Or whatever. And that was my, that was. That girl. song. And R. Kelly. You know, hey, R. Kelly did I a lot with ride. that. Hey, you remind me of my... I that song. Girl, it depends on my mood. Oh, my God. Mm. I never look at a Jeep the same. <laughs> at a Jeep the same. I couldn't, baby, she couldn't even be an Alexis. Why she got to be a damn Jeep? Oh, oh girl. She said you know, a hot day. Something. He oh, said a Jeep. Uh, what they call them, a deuce and a quarter shit. You know, girl. I don't think I want to put pop, no jello. Hey. I don't even like sweaters no more. I'm just done with it all. The Bill Cosby sweaters, though, was epic, okay? I mean, yeah, oh, they yeah. was one of a kind. All the dudes like, wanted a Bill Cosby sweater for Christmas. I'm- <laughs> I always want to know, though, with the women... Did they, did they remember, like, you know how, like, the next day you were like, I don't ever want to meet a man again and wear Put a pops. certain type of something? Put pops. Did Bill Cosby have, like, like, a certain sweater on when he gave him the pills? And then he gave him some pudding pops to sober him up? So, you know, he used to wear them sweaters. He was wearing them before they became cool. No, he probably got the pudding pops first. He got the pudding pops with the pills in it, and they swallowed it. So the pills, the pills go down. Yeah, the pills go down. <laughs> what they call them? What the Jello shots? <laughs> yeah. He put the pills in it. Honey, but niggas going around talking about Bill Cosby and R. Kelly going on the piss and pills tour. Oh, I seen that. I seen that meme. Girl, I don't want to see that. Mm. I'll be so tickled out. <laughs> I'm what? telling you. But what if somebody it? was to piss on me, I'm telling you. I'm going to start fighting. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, you can't even spit. You can't even. That's the last time he's going to pee without a bag. You can't even spit saliva on you me. You cold, girl. But to <laughs> actually urinate on me. Mm-mm. Girl. So he, it's a lot of shit that I'm not going for. And oh, no, you will not disrespect me like that. Some people are just stronger than others. You know Some one thing are. I want to know though, y'all, is where's the sister, R. Kelly's sister at all this? Because remember they said she used to do stuff to him and his brother? Uh-huh. Brother? Yeah. I want to say yeah, brother. Yeah, where's she at? I ain't never even seen, I don't even, I, I, me, honestly, because I, 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 I ain't never seen the sister. Or is R. Kelly the sister? What? What? I ain't never seen her. <laughs> I ain't never seen her, but they say she around. I think uh, Kelly and Carrie don't fuck and Bruce, they don't mess they don't with her. They don't mess with her. Now, which she's, one is in prison? She's, <laughs> Bruce. That's Bruce. <laughs> she said Mark Kelly's the sister. I'm, I mean, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead, y'all. I just, I just flatlined. <laughs> I just flatlined. And I love it. Where's my hair? I, 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 and I still love the music. And I'm not, I mean, I'm up in there on my feels with him. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. R. Kelly. No, I, I, I'm not going to say that. I don't, um. I'm not going to say I don't believe anybody. But. You entered access code. 
seven five three three five nine. Okay, something happened. Can I take? I think it timed out. Can I see you there? Please enter your pin it's followed a, by it's the a, pound. Oh, yeah, disconnected me. Thank you. You there? I don't know. I think I lost her. I think I lost you, Keonti. Like you can call you back in it. if you want to, but... Um, I'm, I'm going to tell her we're trying to, we're trying to get you back on now. What'd she say? She said Pam and James were a... Hey, hey, Pam and James were a... You entered access code 7533 What's going five, on? Nine. We just discussing, well, we came on tonight to discuss... <laughs> We, we came on to we came on tonight to discuss um Jesse Smollett and his accusations of being attacked by two white um uh supremacists um you know doing a hate con hate crime on him and then all the different stories coming out and finding out that the people weren't two white guys they were actually two Nigerians um who like worked on the set of Empire and. Yeah, we try. We went from that to then talking about R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. <laughs> we done been all over the place. <laughs> we, I am dying to know the outcome. Either, too, Pam, I'm like, I just want to know. I just want Jesse to confess. Just get it out the way. Do it now. Of course, there's going to be like a backlash. It's already a backlash. We don't know. But... Of course, it's going to be a backlash, but it's like people eventually move on. You know, they move on. There's a lot of people who love him. I'm sure he'll eventually be forgiven. <laughs> it'll move on. It'll be a story like any other story. Remember that one time? You know what I mean? I don't think. You entered. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to. uh. I would be too if he lied. That would, that would hurt me really bad because that makes it bad for in case it does happen to somebody. And that's what they were saying um, on this other video that we was watching. Like when people do uh, decide to or want to come forward over things like this, they're gonna be like, "Well, you know, Jesse, you know, we we didn't believe him. You know, he didn't tell the whole truth." And woo 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 woo. But um. Yeah, so for y'all who just now joining in, y'all can go back to the beginning if you want and watch the uh, video from the beginning. Uh, unless you want to call in, <coughs> excuse me, and give your opinion on the subject of Jesse Smollett and him allegedly claiming he was attacked by some white supremacists and had a noose put around him and all kind of stuff like that. Yes, and all the celebrities got involved for him. I mean... It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. And I know that, what is it, the L G The LGBTQ? Is that it? it? I think it's, yeah, L -B I think it's something like that. Forgive us if we. Q. Yeah, forgive us if we don't get it right. No but offense. But I think, really I think that's upset. what it is. Yeah, yeah, because it's like. Why lie? If something really happened, if something well, yeah, really went true. down the way that you didn't plan it to go down, why make up this huge lie? To me, he might as well have just kept quiet. This is really going to keep quiet. Keontae says it's going to really damage his career for a while. Right, but he can right. bounce back eventually. I, I think, think the can. longer he, if the, what they call it, the more he prolongs the truth or... LGBT, yeah, that's what we trying to say, Keati. LGBTQ, is, is that what I said? Yeah, I yeah. think that's what I said. I just tried to over tearing it up worse, and worse, making it worse. I, I know I be messing it up sometimes. So, but I try and to then there's some right. more number. There's some more letters after that. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. But mess however up. it went, when they come, look, just such like Peter for like animals. When they, when when they come out for you. They really strong behind your back, and they will they will be there, and they they will be there for him, if it happened to him or not that way. 
I'm not going to say, but it's much easier. He still got time to come out and just say, you know, this, 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 and that. They'll rally behind him all the same, but they want to make it comfortable for if it happened to him or if it if happened it happened for real. However, it happened, they want they they want to make it comfortable for him because just like you know, they support him not because of his money, but because of he like I'm just gonna say a family member and help me if I'm wrong there, but. They want to make sure that nobody is out here targeting people because of life choices. They race or their um, gender selection or who they date. And they want to make sure that the next person, if this happens to and they say something like this happened, they won't think they crying wolf. Um, you know, so I just, I really do believe something happened. I believe something happened. I just don't know. Why you wouldn't just say, if you're not going to say what's happening for real, then you might as well not speak at all. And he don't have to go public with it. And chop it up to a, le- a life lesson. Lost, but, yeah, life lesson. Learn. Lesson learn. If you ain't going to tell the truth about it, just don't say nothing at all. That That's that's what I'm, I don't know. What I'm going to say about it is. <laughs> Damn I, said I said it right. <laughs> I still want to know what was poured or thrown or whatever on him. Did it get in his eyes? Did it get on his clothes? Did he believe he smelled like bleach? Like the bleach. Because he's trying to clean up or something. Or was it water from and the subway I see the news. or what? I really want to see the noose too. I what kind of noose? noose was it? Was it a tie? Was it a rope? Was Dang, it a... What I was it a... Uh, uh, I don't know, a, a cord. Was, was it, it one a, of his socks? Was it, I mean, because a noose could be made from anything. Hello. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a lot of holes, a lot of holes in the story. A lot of people want to give him the benefit of the doubt that something really happened. But it's like, tell the, the truth, truth. Or just shut up. Just shut the- up. In his position, you really don't have to keep talking. I mean, he I don't, mean, really, he don't have really have to be talking it, about it. I mean, just he can just drop. The, he can just drop, drop the drop charges. It. I just want to drop it. I want to leave it alone. He can tell the police. Uh, you know, he can tell them whatever. He, just, have his, he don't even have to do nothing. He can have his his assistant that should have wanted got that sandwich that night for him. Tell you. <laughs> okay, y'all. He, he 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 made it bad. I do like me a little subway once and again, but not lower. <laughs> So we the street, and I ain't about to walk Keanu up there. said, no, Chris B. said, I doubt his two Nigerian friends targeted him. Jesse clearly was involved. I believe that, too. I don't think the Nigerians had anything to do with it. Was they on. was, like, confused. Like, why is y'all oh, in our door <laughs> You got in? that picture, how you? <laughs> oh. They look confused on it. <laughs> that split screen. You talking about, uh. When, when you had him. I don't know what I did with that picture. <laughs> They look. They on there looking confused. Like they was. They that they, they said they called us they out. Now shocked. we all up on the on the, on on everybody's screen, and they and I'm sure they calling. was like when they saw the videos and stuff on the TV. I mean on the news. You know the replay <laughs> when they kept seeing it, they were probably like, "That's us. That's us." <laughs> Like, like we didn't do we didn't do that. You know, they Nigerian. I don't know how they talk, but I was, you know, I was, they got an accent. We didn't do talk. that. We were just trying to toast some bread. Yeah, we, you know, we were just walking home. From, they, I would have been like, like if that was me, and they got me on camera, and I know that's me, but I didn't do nothing. I'm like, oh my god, he said I what? I'm like, Kianti, what you say, <laughs> Cresco? <laughs> Kianti, you a fool. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was Crisco. That's why he was all shiny in there. <laughs> and one of Don Bleach. Uh, uh, and it, 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 oh, yeah, when grease get cold and you try to wipe it off, yeah, you shine up like you got some suntan lotion. Oh, on. my God. Uh-huh. She know. said, like, you got some sun. You Y'all mess. mess. Y'all mess. Post Jesse. I ain't gonna say nothing because I've been the one. And I, uh, Post Jesse. I'm, I don't want to make it bad. And not because he was out there, even the, not because of his choices of whatever his sexual preference. His, or, yeah, not because of that. It could have been a it could have been a woman out there, you know, or whatever. Uh, but <clears throat> no, 
<laughs> no. And still, no. Uh-uh. At 3 a.m.? Like, mm-mm. I'm telling you. Like I, I, I said. I don't want no sandwich at 3 a.m. Not no. Not he talking about he wants some Cut subway. It. Ain't no foot long, no matter how long, worth walking in 20, Chicago. 30 Chicago below cold. wind chills to get no foot long. No six foot long, no six inch long, no ten inch long, no no longs, no meatballs, no meatballs, no club sandwiches, no (laughs) salami. What size did he get the foot long or the six inch first? Anyway, that's my question. No meat, no meat is worth three a three a.m. walk to Subway. No meat, edible or not. No meat. All I want to know is, was it a six inch or a foot long, Michael? I ain't get that. I, 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 I'm going to get that answer. I'm about to call the subway across the street from the No, we need to find out if they got some specials. So they must have got that back room. On. They had some in the back that you got to know Sub- about. I like subway, but I don't like subway that much to be mm-hmm. walking in no three o'clock. I, I lived here twenty some years and had, and the subway right there and I, I don't think I done went there. I like subway, Ooh, but I ain't been there. I ain't been a subway. Even when they had that little raspberry water stuff, I was dressed and sent my son to the buy it. I ain't been a subway and I don't know how long. They must have got, <laughs> must have got a hell of toaster and some meatballs <laughs> off the chain. It's the cheese. Net. It's the cheese. It's in the cheese. It's, it's got to be some. some <laughs> Something that's stick. Lord have mercy. <laughs> but y'all, if y'all want to call in, please let me know because I didn't turn the phone off <clears throat> and turn the lines off. So if y'all want to call in and talk about it, let me know. And I want to know about the one about the whooping your children or something. Oh, yes. That's know. something else we was going to talk about. Yeah, I had yeah, told y'all it was two things yeah. that we was going to talk about tonight. And the first one was Jesse. You said, I'm telling you, he was driving. That's why there ain't no footage of him walking or being attacked. And that makes a lot of sense, Keontae. He, he could Nigerians have been walking. Up. He could have been walking. That's that's a good point. But y'all, let me tell y'all what I just saw on Facebook the other day. <laughs> it had me laughing, but then it also <laughs> had me thinking. Say it. Some guy had posted on Facebook. He said, anybody who spanks their children should go to jail. Mm-hmm. You see that side eye? Hmm. Uh, Me and Santa had to give you the side eye on that one. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't remember the name of the guy. Um, I could have screenshotted it, but I didn't want to put his name out there or whatnot. But, you know, what y'all think about his comment? Now, under that under that post that he made, it was like, the last I checked, (laughs) like 600 something comments mm-hmm. under that post and people was going in on him. When I say people was going in on this dude, like <laughs> what you mean people who spank their kids should go to jail? What? Everybody was like, when I grew up, oh, my kids, when I spanked my kids and people was just, I mean, the last I checked, it was over 600 comments on this guy's Facebook post. And I was like, Wow, they tearing his <laughs> they tearing his butt up, and I don't know how old the dude is. If he's a young dude, a teenager, a grown man, I can't imagine him <laughs> being over the age of. I can't imagine him being in his forties or fifties or above. What can't he say? I agree with her. I agree with her. Because you know what? In our household, my parents didn't beat us. And I ain't going to say they did. We had a good childhood. We came up. We we always had somewhere to stay. Lights, gas, food to eat. We might not have the latest attire, whatever they want to call it. Or the most expensive shoes. shoes, But we was living. But one thing is, I I used to get so pissed about is, and they say, well, if, you know what, to solve the whole thing, everybody getting a whooping. I used to be like, why? <laughs> I, damn, I just got to the house, though. <laughs> <laughs> if don't nobody say who did it, y'all all getting a whooping. My fault was like, we ain't got, oh, I mean, Lord. I'm like, but like you said, I wasn't even home. I'm, I'm just, like, 
<laughs> you be coming home, you be like, well, what? You walk in there, you be like, uh, and then it seemed like you got, I just got a feeling like something jumped off in the house. Uh-uh. <laughs> you are going up to the window. We're trying to ear hustle at the yep. window. Now they want to say, I'll bring your A. You be like, but nowadays, you you can't touch your kids. Your kids Man, it's some it kids up. that I be seeing. I be like. Ooh, I wish my mama could have got a hold <laughs> I'll be like, the devil is a liar. Y'all know that's my favorite quote. The devil is a liar. But, Keontae, I can vouch for that. Your children do have some impeccable manners. You got some beautiful kids. Mm -hmm. (coughs) They so sweet. (laughs) You know, people, some people got them kids that you don't ever mind babysitting. You know, there's, but there's not many. There's not many. I don't watch people kids not because the, it ain't the children. Well, nowadays, I'm going to put it like this. It's them parents. It's the parents. Mm-hmm. They the get kids, mad. kids nowadays, they want you to watch their kids, but they want to bring your kid, their kids to your house. Knowing they bad as hell. Knowing, but then they want, they, they don't ever ask me to watch your children. <laughs> I, the first thing is, I won't do nothing to them because I ain't putting my hands on them because that would be another issue. But don't bring your children to my house or even ask me to come to yours and then you got a list of things for me not to do. <laughs> well, I feel like, is they watching me or am I watching them? <laughs> and the first thing these nowadays, these new 2000, I call 2000 and late 90 babies, they don't want to pay, which 9 out of 10, if you're going to a job, surgery, something like that, you ain't even got to pay me, but Mm. They don't even offer. They don't be like, they only want to bring you like a Subway sandwich. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> and thank you, Keontae. <laughs> she said, I, you know, I love your boys. Thank you. They're my big old babies. My dad, oh my God, when, you know, when my oldest son's car broke down the other day and my dad had to go and help them out. He was like, oh, my God, you guys are just so big. I'm like, them boys, whoa. Them boys ain't boys anymore. I got two men. Two men. <laughs> and, and, and it made me look at at, at your oldest one. The my Yeah. They're my babies, too. Mm-hmm. But the oldest one, though, I remember when I met him. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna put his business out there, but <laughs> when I look at him now, I was like, oh, he real, he real, he real comfortable with me. Yeah. And, and as he should be, because I've known him as a I too. <laughs> yes. When I first met her, this is how far back we go. When I first met her, my oldest son was two years old. He was a baby. So that's how long, that's how far back, that's how far back we go. And that's why the name, name of our segment is Sisters from Another Mister. Every time we do a review on trending news or on a movie and yes we're gonna do another movie review we still talking about um we still talking about what movie we i want to go see greta i'm going i want to see greta but we we will decide i want to make sure we go together tell you the wrong thing (laughs) is let me get to the house (laughs) that's a lot of time though oh my god but yeah as far as like spanking children i don't know what uh you said your rule is you can't watch your kids if I can't whoop them. If I need to, I need to be able to exercise my options. Girl, Girl. and it's like some people know their kids need some discipline. And they, okay, why? Why you, why you, why you, why you touch my kid? Why you, why you um punish them? Why you put them in the corner? Why you sitting on the bed early? Why you say, you know, they can't play the game? Why you take their phone? I mean, if your kid is bad I'm and you don't discipline your kids, kid, <laughs> don't ask nobody else to watch your kid. Do not ask nobody to watch your kid. And I, 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 during my life, I got family members who I used to tell all the time when their kids was young, nope, ain't going to do it. Nope. Nope. Oh, I have seen some. And then there's I'll some I'll be like, be like mm. sure, sure, come on over. There's some I'll be like, yeah, come on over because I know... Just like, and I know you always getting your uh girl, nieces and nephews always. And I'll tell them, but see, and my nieces and nephews, once, wow. I don't have to touch nobody's kids. I ain't never spanked nobody's kids. I ain't into that because never I don't have time for it. They know Auntie Tanya, Auntie Yaya, 
She don't, don't play. She don't play. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm I'm one of those aunties and mamas where I just give you this look or I give you this tone of voice and that's it. That that's it. That's it. I ain't got to do nothing. My uh my uh, nieces and nephews, aunties, they be calling me. My little cousins, I mean, my cousins, they used to call me all the time. Tanya, could you, could my child please come stay with you for a week? I ain't even gonna say the name, but you know what I'm talking about. It's a girl. She's on now. Girl. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. But uh uh-uh, um, she knows what I'm talking about. But uh, <laughs> she was bad as heck when she was younger. Oh. And her mom used to call me. Please come get her. Please come get her. And it's like, and it's like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm like, just put him on the phone. (laughs) Just, just put him on the phone. She honestly said she'll snatch a kid up in a heartbeat. (laughs) What? (laughs) Girl. Have you seen the hate you give? Have we seen that movie? So no, I, I wanted kids. to go to see that movie. I love you some children, but baby. I love the kids. I always be like, Tanya, mm-hmm. love the kids. And I really do. I really do love kids. I just don't like bad kids. Like, Nowadays, I watch your kids, but I ain't watching them. With, if you come with a list or you come rolling up all these don'ts, hold on. I ain't got time to ask you what my dues is. But one thing I'm going to tell you is you ain't finna go out and kick it no way because me... <laughs> What is it, 9.30? I'm doing good because I ain't got nowhere. I ain't, I'm not working at all this weekend nowhere. We both That's why I'm still hey. up. Yes. That's why that we, I, I hope we can find a movie. I, girl, this we weekend. Find some, if it don't snow too bad. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about, too. We're supposed to get another snowstorm. But, uh-uh. Me and kids, and they think they're going to the club, and I remember wanting to do all that stuff. But me now, I, that's like I said, I said one thing is, I watch him during the day. You my grandson, and I love him more than anything. He get my kidney, and he can get my heart. That's mm-hmm. my baby. But one thing is, I like when when I watch him. I make sure my oldest son is gonna be home, cause I got I I, I retire as early to the bed. That's <laughs> <laughs> my bedtime, kid. Let's go. It's time to go to bed. I, I tell him to go to bed. <laughs> one time he was over here. I cut the lights off. He probably like what? He was walking around still. I, I said, uh huh, boy. It ain't my bedtime, Nan. <laughs> he can't say it. My oldest boy, my oldest son was like, Mama. And, my, and, and so I closed the door to my room. He, he, who inside the room door? He inside the room with me knocking on the door. Trying to get out. <laughs> he trying uh, to get out. He, so we, we got to come back out in the living room. I said, oh, uh, hell. Hell No. It was 5.45 a.m. I was already woke, calling his mom and daddy. And so when my oldest son woke, he said, where the boy go? I saw he been gone since 6.30. <laughs> the boy. <laughs> we all, we called him that. But I said, I said, hell no. That time I woke up, I said, I think I gave him everything. Cause we go to the store, we get all, we get junk, we get all kinds. But That's what I do with my kids baby, he eat night. everything. He eat. One time I had cheese and broccoli. That's I looked up. He ate it. Yeah. And when I found out, he eat salad. The bag, them little dough bags. I bought. That boy eat everything. Mm, I said, Mm-mm. That's good. But one thing is that the stuff he do at my house when I do take him to other people's house, I he I, I I'm almost fully got him trained to not act the way he do here. That's because I lie. But when I tell him somewhere, I say, you know, it's a reflection of what, what I, how I am with him. But like I always tell him, get down, get off, whatever. And train up and a he, child. Yeah, he, he mean, listen, but... It he, starts when they one, when they two, when they three. Train he listen, him up. though. But he a good little boy, and I love little boy, and I really do. And he a lot of reasons why I'm still doing something I do now. But one thing is, like I tell his mama, I'm his, I'm his nana. And one thing I say is, don't give me no rules. Because, for one, I'm grown like you. And you feel and like you got to leave me a list. You dealing, with, you dealing with somebody that I, I raised. So, obviously, if you got to give me a list of how to cherry you with yours, then you're not happy with who I raised. So, I tell you what. Good point. Take your list and take your baby. 
and go home. And go- <laughs> now, folks might look at me like I let them get away, get away with stuff or whatever. Get to stepping in my heart and voice. Stuff. Bye-bye. Get to stepping, Tommy. No. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no job. But, yeah, I feel like, I feel like this. It's like, it was so normal for us to get spankings oh, when we were younger. I mean, it was normal. Like, as normal as getting up and brushing your teeth and going to school. It was normal for us to get spankings if we, I mean, if we did something that our parents felt deserved a spanking. Sometimes, you know, sometimes parents aren't perfect. And they, you might get that spanking that you really didn't deserve. And if you got a good parent, they'll, they'll come back. And they'll apologize. I didn't you know, have before, like, everybody should have gotten trouble for this when we already had an idea of whatever. But, like, you know, one thing is that taught me, and, and that, it, but it hurts in, in the real world nowadays that jobs with me is because I'm real honest about stuff. I, I quickly say it. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> said, you said, take your list and take your key. <laughs> take it. Oh, oh Keontae, you ain't never lying. I swear. That is the truth. I swear to God. Like, um, people know my kids' friends and my family members' kids, um, they know me as I'm I'm, I'm very nice, mm-hmm. but I'm not a pushover. You're not gonna sit around me cursing. You're not gonna be disrespectful. You're not going to run through my house, jumping off my furniture. I don't care how old you is. See, I love my baby. And I'm like, they know me as, but she jokes around. She listens to our music. She likes rap music. She she jokes around with us. We we you know sometimes we play around and I'm like, oh you little big head boy, you know you, you know just just playing around with the kids because sometimes as an adult sometimes you have to not stoop down to their level, but you have to remember where you, you came, came from, from. Exactly. And, and what it was like to be a child. You can't mm-hmm. always be on 10 with being just a parent, the guardian, the disciplinarian. You got to be fun with your kids sometimes. You know, because what I learned just from growing up and from watching other friends and other family members, when you always just so strict, 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 and you yep. never Make have a strike. play games with them. Play video games, listen to music, dance around the house, play fight, you know, tease each other. You, I mean, <laughs> you can do that with your kids and still have the upper hand. Like, I can go from we laughing and joking about each other and the next minute, if you don't clean your room, I'm taking that phone. Mm-hmm. You know, I it. can I can go from, okay, it's playtime. <laughs> it was playtime. Did did you really go to sleep without washing them? Did did boy, if you don't get in there and wash them, did you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like you can you can always you know be a little slack with your kids sometimes, you know because one when you grow up, I see it all the time. I work in a nursing home part time. Oh Lord. I see it all the time, and you know one thing I hear a lot from people when they talk about their parent that's in the nursing home, they were so mean. And you'd be surprised. Like, I'd be surprised when I hear it. I'd be, like, sitting there, like, you talking about your parent that we taking care of. Right. And they're, like, they were so mean. You should have seen them when they knew what they were doing. You should have seen them when they mind was. Mm-hmm. You should see them, like, I'd be, like, and not just them. You have one of yours? Not just oh, them, but, um, yeah. like, even people that I know in my personal life that don't really deal with their parents anymore because their parents was always just so mean and strict and that was it. That's all they know was mean and strict. Once they got out the house, they out the house. <laughs> they out the house. You be lucky they see their parents on, their parents be lucky they see birthday. them on, on their birthdays, on their holiday because it was always just always discipline. You can't be a discipliner disciplinarian a hundred percent of the time with your kids mm-hmm. and you, you hey but you gotta discipline them though <laughs> you got to so when that boy made that post on facebook talking about um you should go to jail if you spank your kids i'm like okay if you if you brutally 
spanking your kids, which is abuse. <laughs> that's yeah. child abuse. You know, that's child abuse. If you're leaving wounds on your kids that don't go away for weeks, if your child is bleeding, if they eye black, if they tooth them fell out, <laughs> if they can't hear out of one ear, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> a spanking versus child abuse is you totally different. Him. You know how you get, you know, some parents be punching on their kids. I mean, just, I, I ain't seen parents punch on their kids before now. Now, that's one thing I can say about I ain't seen that. parents punch on their kids. They punch their kids so hard like they was, and it, and I didn't see a child that get punched. Cry. I see a child get punched and the child Throw was up. small. You like, know what? How you want to, now that's child abuse. That's different. But but spankings, I don't know. No, I don't. I, I don't think people should go to jail either. if they spank their kids. I don't believe that. And like I said, the last right way, way. Exactly. Not 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 no, beating. No, not yeah, child abuse. Not child abuse. I want you. I don't see people fight. They. The, it, it's a difference between a whooping to me. A whooping to me is uh, could be. To me, it's like an open hand on the behind. Mm -hmm. Or a switch or a belt. When you're picking up other stuff, shoes and stuff and anything like that, you don't know exactly what this object can uh, do. Lamps and brooms and That's irons. And now that, yeah. <clears throat> that with me, I'll be honest. With my parents, it was like, they asked questions. They did ask us, you know, and they'll say, especially when they was gone and they came home to something. And they'd be like, well, you know what? Whoever was here, matter of fact, everybody getting it. We're like, well, damn, why everybody got to get it? But then you know what? They had time for all that. But one thing is, a lot of times when stuff did happen, my folks didn't do nothing. It was more of a threat to get you. Yeah. You know, but then when they came up with this punishment stuff, you want to be on punishment, you want a whooping. I'd rather take a whooping. I used to say that all the time. I used to say that all the time. I thought, well, every time, time, I ain't have no. time to put my schedule on hold. When I had a choice, me. when I had a choice. <laughs> then you take this. Then you take them. <laughs> then they say, I'm going to whoop you Let later because we got company <laughs> or they've been doing something. And they're like, well, we ain't gonna, I ain't going to whoop you now, so we'll do it later. Then you don't get that whooping. Then, then they, they say, forget. I owe you one. Yep, yep. Like, you don't owe, owe me what? I owe you a whooping from Cut last week. Cut that money you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you a whooping from last week. Sure. And they parents be like, you just letting it build up. You just letting it build up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just have to be honest and say, the whoopings I got, don't they, they, they help shape me into the person I am today. I mean... And like I said, I can just look at a child and in my okay. I got a grading scale. When when you grow, <laughs> my my sons know my mama. Sometimes she can go cray cray. She she I got I got I'm I don't have a I don't have like I wouldn't say a temper like some people just get mad over anything. Right. It's right. certain. It's just certain things that like disrespect they know, is they number know. one. Yep, disrespect yep, yep. is number one. I can go from smiling and playing around to, what did you just say? Like, you know, disrespect is my number one pet peeve with any child. <laughs> and so my kids, they might do something like not complete their homework. They might be tardy for class. They might forgot to do their chores. But disrespect, that's one thing. <laughs> That's one thing, because they know mama will turn into the Tasmanian devil if you did and not just me, but any adult. And that's one thing um, I can't say about my sons, because I hear it. I still hear it to this day, and my oldest one is about to be 22. Your sons is just the most, whether you meet them at the grocery store, at a school event, out on the street, at the basketball court, at the mm -hmm. when it comes to adults, they are very, very respectful. respectful. Mm -hmm. Very. And I hear it. I heard it. I don't know how many times. I couldn't even count. All through their life and still till now. I saw your son at the store. He just gave me a hug like, hey, how you doing? Like, mm -hmm. they was like, oh, you turn your son. Yes. You, you know. My nephew. Yes. 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 
But you know, um, sometimes it don't take spankings. It it don't. It don't take spankings. But I'm not gonna judge people who spank their children, especially when I came from that generation. I don't think you should go to jail because you spank your children. No, I don't think so Abuse, either. But I yes. think so it's a certain level to doing it. Right. Like how once a time when you read stories and you see where they say, well, so and so mom, uh, the the mom got a new boyfriend. And they got CPS or somebody involved, mm-hmm. and so the dad is trying to. The dad was in. The dad was in the process of getting the kid, and the kid might have been at potty training stage. That's one thing. It's serious. You could potty train a cat, dog, baby, a baboon, anybody, and everybody's gonna have accidents or whatever. But one thing I say is, if if you have a step if you are or you have a step parent around your child or whatever and you want them to help you with anything critical and potty training has been one that I've read a lot about where you kids know, get abused and because, beat to death. and it's so sad but I think all step parents should there should be a line that you don't cross. I'm not saying step parents shouldn't be allowed to disappear. You, I, I'm not saying that. But, but I'm saying what you gonna say. Go ahead and say because I, I mean, it is. But like I remember one time, my oldest son, um, the guy I was dating at the time wasn't his father, and he used to call me. Your son, that school just called your son. That it, um, he he did this. Why you keep calling me? <laughs> You know, and I had that same situation with my mother. Rest in peace. My mother. When I first but, had my son, she was the same way. She would call me at work, like, if she happened to be watching them because school canceled, you know, snow mm-hmm. day or, you know, something. They couldn't go to daycare. And she's watching them while I'm at work. And she like, Tanya, your son, mama, he, you didn't call nobody when when we was <laughs> I mean, okay, listen, grandmama didn't call you. When we were showing out, she 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 might have told you the aftermath. She might have, yeah. Afterwards, uh, uh, what we call Tanya did this, and when you was at work, and I smacked her on her butt. (laughs) That's what would have happened. I'm like, mom. Well, my mom was good at that. My mother don't like don't like whooping her nieces, nephews, uh, grandchildren. That just wasn't my mom's nature. She. We got it when we was on the boat as far as older. And then it then she slowly she slowly got into her rightful grandmama place where the kids was like, Okay, grandma ain't playing no more. They <laughs> and grandma ain't, they used to take advantage of her because she didn't wanna she didn't wanna punish her. But it got to the place where they was like, Okay, grandma don't be playing. We better go over there and not tear up grandma house. She was playing our toys and play with our <laughs> room and <laughs> our video games. <laughs> Cause my You're mom used married. to call me and I'll be like, I cannot believe mama if you if mama, call me again. Mama. <laughs> but nowadays you got to call the police, the FBI, all that uh, not on the kid, the parent. Yeah. That's why I said, don't ask, don't ask me to fool with them. Yeah, what can I don't want say? To. I'll give a kid the world, but if you out of line, I'm going to cr- Uh huh, exactly. Me and my kids play all. Exactly. Me and my sons, I mean, mm-hmm. we literally play all the time. They, be, they come home, honey, I'm home. I'm like, boy, don't be calling me your doggone honey. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I mean, we, we play. Like all the time, but then there's a, there's a line uh, where it's yeah. like, okay, I, I'm gonna need y'all to get it together. Like my youngest son, don't let him <laughs> get some lower than a C on his report card. We could have just had a wonderful, jolly evening, everybody laughing, joking around. And I get that report card. Oh snap! What this say? Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Nope. No TV, nope, nope, mama, for real, mama, for real. Yep, for mm-hmm. real. When you get tomorrow, you better turn in that missing homework mm-hmm. if you want to see your phone ever again in this life. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like you have to know when to switch it on and when to switch it off. But, yeah, sometimes you don't need to whoop your kids. Mm-hmm. Have you ever took your phone from your child mm-hmm. to discipline them? And it's like 
You just but pulled you all the breath. It's, it, it's like you done pulled all the breath out of their whole body. I mean, the phone. The way these kids love they um electronics. Like you taking their kidney. Um, like one a big one was for me. Uh, where that PlayStation at? For real, mom, I gotta give you the PlayStation. Where that play? What you got <laughs> until such and such day to turn in your homework? If he was like missing homework or something like that, that boy be in there the next day calling me, mm-hmm. Mama. I'm staying after school. Um, I did my homework. Oh, <laughs> prove it to me. I want to see it. Tell the teacher to email me. That is done. Teacher, call me, email me, text me. He turned mm-hmm. in his work. Okay, you can have your phone back. I don't play. That's one thing I don't play about disrespecting grown ups and your grades. But he about to graduate now. I got A's and B's. He showed me his little progress report yesterday. He came in my little mm-hmm. while I was working from home, put it on my desk. And he was like, bam. I'm like, what's this? What? All A's and B's? Because he ain't really had no C's or D's or nothing all his senior year. But it was all A's and B's, not one C. I was like, oh, my God, you about to graduate with honors and everything. So I'm proud of him. <laughs> I'm proud of him. He about to go to college and everything. But anyway, I only, did, only had two. Two sons. That's it. That's all I ever wanted, and that's probably all the Lord knew I needed. <laughs> that's all he knew mm-hmm. I needed. <laughs> I'm going to give this woman two sons, and mm-hmm. I, she ain't popping out nothing else. <laughs> oh, but anyway, anything you want to um, finish off with, Sam, on anything we talked about? We done talked about everything. R. Kelly, uh, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, um, Jesse Smollett. We done talked about a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, anything, any last words? Because I think we almost said, uh, how long we been on this live? Ooh, we've been on here over two hours. <laughs> we've been over here two hours. Mm-mm. But I just want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight, no matter where you tuned in from, because you could have been doing thank anything y'all. else tonight. So... The two sisters from another misters, we thank you for joining our platform tonight um, to talk about a little trending news, a little hot topics, and about family and children and discipline. I, I should have put my glasses up while I can't look at I was wondering where your glasses was. Mm-hmm, that's what, in, my, in my bed. <laughs> I was wondering where your glasses in my bed. was. That's why I ain't looking at it because I, I can see I can see all this. I can read it. <laughs> but when I turned 35, it was a wrap. Girl. I'm wearing glasses every day for 13 years already. Oh, love for you. And you know what? When I was younger, the doctor told my mom, when she realized I needed glasses, the doctor said, your daughter needs to wear glasses for the rest of her life. And I think I wore them till I was about ninth grade. And then I think I got contacts. You know, that was back sure. then when everybody was wearing Con- the color contacts. I, I can, I, Girl. I'm at the, I, I had the cat eyes. Like this, and then the water ran down like so much in the water. And you know, they, did they ever make you put them in? Try to make you put them at the place? Mm-hmm. They would have you I practice putting it. them in oh, at the place. Oh, I couldn't do it. Girl, I got to the point where I could pop them things in, like, mm-hmm. poop, just mm-hmm. pop them in, pluck them out. And I had the colored ones, so it made my eyes look really light, light and hazel and blended with my skin complexion and all that. But, yeah. People having green eyes, cat eyes. That's when, yeah, the contacts was, you know, popping back then. But I got stigmatism in each eye, and so does my oldest son. We both have a stigmatism in each eye, so we both supposed to wear glasses. Like, Mm-mm. and I um, have to admit, I don't wear my glasses. I, girl, I couldn't tell you where them things <laughs> is. I honestly, I need Mine, to go I get some new like ones. My, I keep them like my car keys. Mm-mm. One time I remember when I first started wearing them, no, and I left. In the car, you know, you know something ain't right. And I was out on the street, it was night. And it was like all the lights were like, like one, like not one, but you know, uh, they sit like, mm-hmm. they weren't like how they supposed to be. I turn around. Girl. I said, never again. I'm going to get me some glasses. I'm going to have me some glasses before, hopefully, let's see if I go next week, make an appointment next week. It don't take that long to get glasses in. Mm-mm. Like a week or so, I'm gonna get me some glasses, but I want the shades too. I want the kind that you oh that yeah got yeah. the tint on them. I want those too. 
I might buy me a pair of this. But, yeah. So cool. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, y'all, thanks for tuning in tonight. It has been fun. Um, Make sure mm-hmm. you guys uh, check out my Instagram, Tanya Primetime TV. I'm also on Twitter, uh, Tanya's Primetime TV. <laughs> um, we have a Facebook group, Tanya's Primetime TV. Mm-hmm. And I have a Facebook page. Tanya's Prime Time TV. So it's all under all under the same name. Tanya's well, I'm sorry, Tanya's Live. Uh Tanya's Live Prime Time TV. So make sure you check me out. And also you guys, you guys who do not know that I am a professional personal cake decorator, make sure y'all check me out too on my um cake decorating page, which is on Facebook. And it's called Tanya's Delights Slice by slice matter of fact let me see if i can pull up show y'all a little some 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 that i uh worked on recently let me see let me go to my little facebook little facebook you see that one cake i made the other day the, the, the um the one with the liquor oh the patron cake girl I don't know why. I don't know when no cake on your thing. I think it's- oh, yeah, and I do have free cake contest. She just mentioned why I never win. Because for one, one time I know I won, though, but I ain't going to say too much about it. She did I'm not. I'm all right. I, I know I won. I did. Don't believe the hype, y'all. Don't believe her. Don't believe her. I should have screenshot it. Don't believe but Let's She did not win. I'm, I'm going to screenshot it. Okay, let me show y'all a little I something. So. Win, no, you didn't. Really? Okay. Now she trying to, she trying to make me say that I was cheating her. <laughs> she trying to make me say I was cheating her, y'all. I ain't gonna hey, cheat I my do, friend. I do like to call you. I ain't, I ain't gonna I cheat did, my friend. I ain't did it in a while. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But uh, <laughs> you, you, you can still play. Make sure you play next month. My contest is what always on the first. <laughs> You they always on the first. Like cupcakes was ready. I was like, I'm glad they was ready for mine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I said, I bet you be <laughs> this is one of the uh, cakes I made the other day. It was a Patron cake. Is liquor in there? Yeah, it's liquor in there. And and see, so you got the little uh, infusers in the. Um, and strawberry. Strawberries. Matter of fact, I did a video while I was decorating um, my strawberries. Mm-hmm. I did it live like a couple of days ago. <clears throat> but um, well, maybe like a week ago. I'll be at the cake because I probably would drunk all that uh, And here's the cupcakes oh, that I did to go with the cake. And you see okay, the little um, those are uh, uh, Nestle, the little chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Mm-hmm. I didn't but yeah, they wanted I some. Would, um, they wanted some chocolate covered strawberries, and they wanted the little liquor. Um, Balls. infusers or Nickel they ball. actually call them uh, pipettes. Oh. They call them mini pipettes and you fill them up with whatever liquor. It could, be, it could be it could be it could be hard liquor it could be wine it could be you know Kool-Aid. whatever they want. Kool-Aid. And you stick them in there. She said Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no not Kool-Aid. Well I guess if you want some. Girl be quiet. And um let's see. What's that, What's that stuff? Juicy juice. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, um, that's, I, I, that's uh, right. You made those one too. Yes, those are these are my top Kate, top favorites from hey, can people. Can you make it smaller than that? Like a that's a big ass. Man, that's not that big. Those are nine inch round. Um, they're all well. The strawberry one is four layers, but the other ones four. are yeah. That's a four layer cake. Four them cakes that go like this. Yep. Well, they it got cheese. Around. It got cheesecake in the middle yeah. and cake. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of them are three layers. <laughs> so you make, you make that circle cake, and then you put some cream cheese. Put another one. Put another one. I don't put no cream cheese. No. I mean, just say like you make you make That's four for the uh, cheesecake with the round cakes. You know what I'm talking about? In a little square thing like this, you gonna make four of these, four cakes, and you gonna have a cake here, and you'll put some frosting or whatever. Put another. Mm. And then here's a um here's a cake I made for my son's 18th birthday the I'm other day. Ah, uh, that cake was fire too. That's one pick of it. That's another pick of it. That's another pick of it. My car, baby. My, uh, my daddy 
pretty black and racist thing. <laughs> but yeah, those are a few <laughs> of my cake decorations. Um, you can check me out, Tanya's Delight, Slice by Slice. Thank you. And where's the, uh, oh, here's some cute cupcakes I made for somebody the other day. Let's see if I can make it bigger. That's a kid. Yep. She yeah. wanted, the little girl wanted her picture on the cupcakes. Okay. And she wanted, um, oh, that's me for the Super Bowl. <laughs> but, um, she wanted her <laughs> picture. I think I got a closer pic. Yep. Here's a closer shot. She wanted her picture on the cake and she loves penguins. Yeah. So Aww. she wanted penguins on the cake. So basically, you know, yeah, yeah. I used my little skills. And this girl, she had a whole bunch of stuff in her background. Like she was in a kitchen and she had a whole bunch of stuff in her background. So basically, you know, yeah. I used my little programs on my computer to block out everything behind her and, you know, make it seem like she, you know, what she told her mom when she got her cupcake. She said, Miss Tanya got it where it looks like I'm holding the penguin. I was like, <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's, that's what I was going for, sweetheart. <laughs> that's right, yeah. But yeah, she's a sweet little girl. I done done, this is like my uh, third birthday. My son, uh, I'm about to take two. His birthday's home. Birthday order. <clears throat> my daddy her. bought me a cake. We bought him bakers. But I ain't up that day. They never bought me no cake, though. But yeah, she's a sweetheart. That little girl. She really. Matter of fact, um. If I could take, let me have it. That's all I ain't gonna have it up to me. Is, is this the one right here? <clears throat> you said you want half the cake? Hell yeah. Ain't nothing with all that cake. You can eat that cake. The hell? You made me the whole cake. You know? I ain't throw it away. But, I um. I just the whole cake. My daddy bought me one. He bought me a cake. Like, he bought me a a cake, but it wasn't. I said, I well, that's what my son said too cake. when I made his birthday cake because they know I know that, that, that cake was small. Like, remember my son's cake, the other son last year, his birthday cake? It was a three tier chocolate and Reese's peanut butter frosting cake. That, too much. that cake was huge. Give me a, and one, then my give me a aunt, half a tier. My other son, the youngest <laughs> one, who I just did that cake for. Last year, when he turned 17, I did him a two-tier cake that looked like a basketball rim. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was tight. But anyway, he said, Mom, I just want a little cake. Beautiful cake. I just want a little cake. You're a good cake, cake, a good cake, cake maker. I'll give that to you. But I'm just saying, I hate to waste people. I hate well, if to... you really want a small cake for you, I will a one A, a one cake. Because normally, I only do little cakes for like... um well, Smash cakes is what right. I need. Mean. And I normally, I, do a, um, I normally do smash cakes when like... A person is ordering a bigger cake mm -hmm. for their child, like a, you know, and I just throw in. Man, if people ate the cake, cake, I wouldn't mind getting it. And that ain't the fact that paying the money that people, because I understand, like, you, you broke it down to me. The ingredients, and I always know about people's time and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because too, honestly, but, a smash cake isn't really a whole lot cheaper than a regular 8 inch size yeah, or 9 like, inch size cake because you still have to make your frosting, you still have to make the whole batter, you still have to make you know, and it's still the cook time that's is almost the same you know, the time the time to make the cake and the ingredients to make the cake is so some people might take a few dollars off a of smash cake, but really it takes almost I, 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 I said, don't mind paying for it because I know it's a business for everybody like my friend that make the scarves and them bonnets, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that's her stuff. Like she said, you know, she charging this amount because for one, y'all go out, y'all you you get ingredients, she get material, mm -hmm. everything all the time. It's like I had her actually made me a wrap thing, an African, I mean, a leopard wrap thing, and she's like, well, it's gonna cost this and that much. I understand that, and I tell yeah. her all the time. You just tell me the price. Don't tell me why no more. If I, either I'm going to pay for it or I'm not. That's how I am. Like some people, I really don't have people come at you me like, keep why swimming, you charge either. this much or why you charge. I just tell people straight up, this is how much it costs. You going to buy it or you ain't? Do you want, I'll, I'll ask them, do you want what size, what flavor, what flavor of frosting? Um, do you want a special, specially? personalized designs. Do you, you know, I give them, I tell them up front, I ask them mm -hmm. up front, 
And they let me know, oh, no, I don't need nothing super fancy. Or, no, I don't need it that big. I only want buttercream. So, you know, some people, they hit you up and they don't know what they want. Butter They're like, oh, just make anything. I be having people tell me, oh, just make, like, one of my last customers. I was like, what flavor do you want for the birthday cake? Oh, just whatever you think would go with the cake. I'm like, <laughs> whatever I think would go with the cake. <laughs> like, and it's off the record, but it's, it's on the record because you, you, I mean, oh. some of the people ask you to make them, like, infuse stuff. Mm. Like, one time I went to the store for my friend, and she wanted me to get her some gin. When I was drinking anything like that, it was just Seagram's straight plain gin. Mm hmm with the bills, I don't order my barbecue because I'm finna eat, and I was yeah. just having to be on the phone with somebody, and they asked me to bring somebody up. I get up in there, they had so many choices. I was like, I called twice. I said, the second time she don't answer, I'm gonna call like three times, you out. Third time she answered, because she was doing something. I gave the phone to that girl behind the counter, because I didn't know, Tanya, that it was so many different flavors mm -hmm. of gin. Last it's a lot of different was flavors of all liquors nowadays. But remember though, it was never straight. It was just straight, straight one flavor. Now one. they got peach, they got berry, they got... I was like, she was I like, mean, they got everything. Want? I rolled up to the window, I wanted a five bone dinner with the fries. I was like, I'm straight. And I was like, oh yeah, let me get Seagull's gin and some some juice. Mm -hmm. The grapefruit juice is what it was. She said, well, what kind of you want? I said, what the hell you... And I looked up when she pointed over there. I said, "Yeah, they had almost girl, every liquor." Girl, I had worked it. That's when I, I, I left the front. Well, you know, I left and went down there. I was about to cry. Mm -mm. I was tired. I said, "You know but what? There's Hold many on. flavors. There's many flavors. That's just like in cake decorating. What I do." That's I what I'm like, saying. That's why I said, don't give me no options. Let me, that's if I don't I do a whole home, bunch of flavors. Wait. I do over 20 different flavors mm -hmm. with my um, cake decorating. But yes, if you want to check out my work, Tanya's Delight Slice by Slice on Facebook. You can check out my work on my uh, cake decorating um, skills or whatnot. Um, but anyway, we about to get out of here. It's been, we've been on here forever now. We done talked about a lot of different subjects. <laughs> Um, started with Jesse and ended with talking about kids and all kind of stuff. So y'all, again, we appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Appreciate the people that called in tonight and all your sub, all your opinions and, you know, your feedback on the different topics that we discussed tonight. We really appreciate you guys. And in the meantime and in between time, primetime squad, as usual, stay safe. Be blessed, mm -hmm. and we out. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs>